last one you can customize your spring boot applications customize spring boot application how to customize your spring boot application go to here so if you start your spring boot application you got this banner right you got this banner right i don't want this banner your predefined property is there spring dot mode dot banner spring dot banner dot you there is a concept how to how to rename how to how to rename you can rename your own team spring dot banner spring application dot banner no, here is not there you can use your own way how to how to overcome you know, you know how to do you can go to your documentation team it is a predefined properties application properties spring has provided list of properties banner not care set not height not weight banner image image file location banner image file location is okay banner care set uh, spring dot main dot banner mode spring dot main dot banner mode see you want off you can off now here see run as spring boot application Ray, what happened with this run as we install again run as see have you seen any banner team here no okay right oh, you are following team yeah no okay next one okay next one team how to customize your application these applications are predefined how to do if you go your source code spring application dot run if you go your source code okay, run method go to this run go to this run here if you observe here there is a print banner go for this print banner here see banner mode is equal to log off is equal to null the file name also it should be same banner dot it is a banner mode off means nothing banner mode log okay it will print the in logs if it is a case out means it will be console if non log non off means it will be console understood team see this file name also it is okay it is expecting banner only how to override can i override my own yes you can you can override your own it is console now will come if not come you should install again it should come okay now start run as That's it, team. See, I don't want to spring up a banner. I want my own banner file banner dot txt. Go to Google spring banner banner generator. I want to give banner name is Spring Technologies. Copy this whole banner. Paste into here. I don't want.
can be installed. And go to here. See, got it or not? Sir, got it, sir. Depends upon the requirement, you should all these things happen to you. Is it okay, team, everyone? Shall we close this spring core team? Is it okay, team? Okay, everyone. Yeah, okay, team. Now, very, very important. Spring core is okay now. Okay, MVC. First, we'll discuss team. What is MVC? What is the architecture of a okay, MVC? Quickly some five, six okay, examples we are okay, discussing about MVC so that you will be idea about MVC. Then we can start how the beautiful, you know, with MVC of the Spring Boot team. So, you know, first one team using MVC, using MVC, we can develop using MVC, we can develop web application and okay distributed based application city now please concentrate now first to one team first we will go for a public application means what mvc where m is where okay, m stands for model and v stands for view c stands for controller team okay now good now we will see practicality how this okay, MVC architecture, how this MVC architecture, now it is what happened here, it is a controller, it is a view team, whenever request will come to your dispatcher and servlet, your request will go to whom your controller, see your request will go to whom your controller, Controller will return the model and view. Send the request to view resolver. View resolver will provide the your view name. Display the view name on the page team. Hope everyone knows this concept. Everyone knows this concept. Okay. First thing in our project requirement. First, whenever request will come, this should be configured inside of your app.xml. This should be configured inside of your okay, app.xml team. Why? Your app.xml only will create the dispatcher. Your servlet only will create the dispatcher's servlet object. Your dispatcher's servlet will send a request to who controller controller will have first it will go to handler mapping simple i will explain so that you guys can understand i want okay everyone should understand that's why how to write them simple controller let's assume that at the rate controller public class order controller or product controller team i am giving okay brush up before we going to spring boot now here we have a the rate request mapping here we have at the rate request mapping slash get products or whatever it public string string get string product details or whatever it okay team now here see now here is what happened here like this i have two three methods products create method update methods all i have two three
okay now here you have a model object or whatever it model object okay now please okay, try to okay, understand it. here we have a okay request handler request handler so here is a okay, request handler means this one thing here you will be returning return either success or return value or okay or success or whatever it is Okay, try to understand see here now what happened now what happened whenever request will come handler mapping handler mapping means okay this one thing request mapping based on this request mapping it will decide which controller which method it should be okay, executed let's see here slash product or it may be a slash slash product details okay something uri it will go to either here or it will go to either here okay are you clear now now let's see so done so what what we should do you need to write one web.xml i will show you an example Okay, and web.xml inside of the web.xml number one configure dispatcher servlet configure dispatcher servlet number two number two number two team configure here write okay web.xml here okay dot xml done okay number two your dispatcher servlet dot xml why it is it is used to to activate to activate a it is used to to activate handler mapping It is used to to activate this handler mapping and also controller it is used to to activate the handler mapping and controller team all controller classes done okay now third step right controller classes comma and service DAO, whatever you want, you should give all. Done. Now, what happens? See, I will show you two, three okay, examples on okay, MVC. First example is using okay, XML configuration, how your okay, MVC will work. Second example means using Java configuration of okay, how it works. Third example means some forms, how to MVC forms. Then I will go to Spring Boot. You will see how much advantage with the Spring Boot. You will see. Team, I am using okay, Spring MVC. I am using okay, okay, existing okay, examples team. Sorry. Spring MVC. I am using okay, existing. No, no options team. But the Spring Boot, we will write manual editing spring boot will write manual editing spring mvc you cannot type all the team import
CTM first example of MVC. MVC. I have one simple control team. Boba one simple control C. I am passing request. Hello dynamic. Always okay, remember this diagram. Whenever request will come, handler mapping will route the request to, to here. Here. Here what happened? Your controller will return model and view. It is model and view. Give this, this model view resolver. View resolver. Here is your view resolver team. Your configuration. Here is your view resolver means your configuration. View resolver, internal view resolver. Prefix is equal to slash web inf slash suffix is equal to dot jsp team. See, prefix slash web inf. Here your file is there. Suffix dot jsp means whatever your view name is given by your controller how that view name is there Th that view name is equal to slash web inf slash slash hello world it is a prefix slash jsp team by here okay suffix is a jsp team understood please okay, try to work understand team during your application startup, how many other rate request mappings are there? All other rate request mappings, it will be placed into one table. That table will be taken care by handler mapping. Handler mapping team. Okay, now clear. Now let's see. Start the game now. See. Whenever you deploy the application. Okay, okay end user will try to hit. Slash URL. Dispatcher flow will go here. Org Spring Framework Web dot servlet dot dispatcher servlet. Understood servlet dot dispatcher servlet. See always you know I am giving a high level. Always you you got the dispatcher servlet object. Who has created this dispatcher? Your servlet container has the okay, responsible to create at the inside of the servlet container. I got the dispatcher servlet object. Inside of the servlet container, I got the dispatcher servlet. Now, please okay, try to okay, understand here. This okay whenever you called slash slash hello dynamic so okay, inside of the okay, dispatcher servlet init method is there this has the okay, responsibility to create the to create the your spring container to create the okay spring container to create the spring container what is there in the spring container you have a handler mapping you have a controller you have a view 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 resolver view okay resolver so your dispatcher servlet will create object will 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 create a container here during your application startup you have handler mapping you have controllers how many if it is one or two or three how many controllers we have all you have view resolver internal view resolver IVR whenever request will come your dispatcher will talk to First will talk to whom? 
your handler mapping handler mapping what it returns team handler mapper will returns handler mapper will returns controller name so your dispatcher will give to whom this controller controller what it will give logical name it will return model and view please try to understand everything i can directly start my spring boot but before start i want to give some basics this again okay dispatcher will give to this model and view to whom okay internal view resolver internal and view resolver what it will give location of your your file name location of file file location understood this will be displayed on the UI understood team now same you need to create first what you want see in your okay okay dot xml dispatcher servlet you want to create please please try to understand so inside of the here here you need to enable at the rate annotation driven it will be it will be enabled all the annotations like at the rate request mapping at the rate controller all this it will taken care by whom at the rate annotation driven at the rate component scan will take care what to scan all the component classes it is also one of the component only at the rate controller means it is a, one of the component only it will take care all the annotations now next one after that what happened it will create it that what happened it will do okay or not what i should do run as mb installed I will deploy the application into where Tomcat, my external Tomcat. See, I would deploy application. Two, three examples I will show you here. Then we'll go to our stuff. Go to my softwares, Apache Tomcat, web apps. I'm deploying into here now here go for your win cmd startup dot batch start your application good go for here what is your uh, port 2021 HTTP colon local host 2021 slash slash no I am giving this one thing giving slash HTTP colon local host 2021 slash Is there an error here? No error. One second. I don't want access from here. It's not a REST API. Manage wrap. Go to my first example. From here, I should use this path. Yeah by default which page will be loaded you are clear look informed here by default view name is static page will be loaded by default view name is static page default servlet handler would be called if you give slash url if any static content is there load all the static content like images and all 
So it, it is a basic Spring application. So this is there. That's why here view name will put a displayed automatically here. Open with text editor. It is your view name. It is like a dynamic page. Open with the text editor. We are expecting some image SRC image. We have logo is okay. Srinutek logo. Okay. Let's see. Thing. I want dynamic. See, hello world. Got it or not, team? Team, okay. Everyone got it. Okay, everyone, team. It is a simple, basic, okay, spring application team. Basic, okay, spring application team. Yeah, now. Now, interesting is here, team. Now, I want to move, okay. Web.xml is there. I want to move my, I want to move my XML to Java config. I want to replace this dispatcher servlet XML with Java config. Web.xml as it is, it would be there. Next example, replace your XML with Java config. How to do? Please concentrate. If you go for SRC, main, ABAP, ABINF, there is no dispatcher servlet hyphen XML configuration. MVC configuration. Second example, MVC adapters. MVC config adapter. Web MVC config adapter. This is replacement with your dispatcher. See? Hope here I am at the rate enable MVC. Means this annotation will take care to load to load all the required at the rate controller at the rate request to mapping all the annotations will be initialized by this annotation. All the annotations will be initialized by this understood team. Once it is done, once it is done now. Now what happened? Team? I am declaring as a at the rate bin. I am declaring as a add view controller. I am declaring as this by default static page if you want load. Everything. I replace my okay, XML with my Java config. No problem. Your output should work. Team. Here you have a okay, dot XML. You are providing here. See dispatcher servlet hey annotation config web application context this com dot st dot mvc dot config dot mvc config vc config i am giving here in previous example by default always your dispatcher servlet will looks for your servlet name okay looks for servlet name iphone servlet dot xml here servlet name is okay dispatcher here always okay looks for dispatcher iphone servlet dot okay xml file so that but how my second example how my okay dot xml knows location of how my okay dot xml knows location of mvc i am providing here no difference first to dispatcher servlet object will be created First dispatcher and servlet object will be created. Next to what happened, you know. Next to what happened, you know. Please okay, try to understand. Next, it will try to inject this one thing. It will try to inject this. Flow is same, but replacing your XML config with Java config. Let me team. I will show you this example. my battery down okay team now let's see how to deploy application copy go your container a map i don't want this now paste into my application Bootstarter. Sp 
Spring Boot Starter. Now got it in. Now we'll see. Now we'll see. And go to here. Major app. Go to here. How your controller? Same style, sir. This time removing my XML with Java config. Got it. Okay. Now, third one is very, very important to I am replacing both XML and Java config. No XML files. Go to replace. Hello world. Now. Now here see. Hello world. Now you see here. This one you know. At the rate configuration. At the rate enabled. At the rate component scan. This one you know. But how to replace your web.xml. Okay, Application Installer extends Annotation Config Dispatcher Servlet. This class will take care to create the Dispatcher Servlet object. I need to supply where is my configuration to the Dispatcher Servlet. I am supplying. Where is my configuration? I am supplying to Dispatcher Servlet. Spring MVC application without app.xml, without Dispatcher servlet config XML. Your application installer will take care. It is replacement of your app.xml. It always should, should be extends with your abstract annotation config dispatcher servlet installer. This class will take care. It will use internally servlet container. It will use internally. Servlet, see, okay, web application initializer. It is what? Spring servlet initializer. It will create at the, your servlet will create at the dispatcher servlet object. Once that object will be created, dispatcher servlet will take care of to create the Spring IOC container inside of the Spring IOC container. You have a handler mapping, you have a controller, you have a internal view resolver. Everything is available here. Team, understand team. Okay, everyone. Okay, everyone, are you clear or not? Okay, everyone team. Please. So, now we will go for our Spring Boot team. Now we will go for our Spring Boot team. Our goal is, see, if you use if in Spring MVC developer developer has to write to write configurations as the responsible to developer has the responsible to write configurations manually and deploy application a configurations means either using xml or using java config see two are there if it is okay okay xml if it is a okay, xml you should write if it is xml if it is XML, sorry, if it is XML, we should write. Please try to understand. If it is XML, if it is XML, we should write kev.xml and we should write and we should write dispatcher servlet.xml. If it is Java config, we should write 
we should write application click okay initializer class and a class of okay, extends with abstract and mvc config you should write a class extends with extends with and next one mvc config extends with extends with mvc config extends with abmvc adapter abmvc adapter team and we deploy the application manually deploy the application manually team these are all you will use Okay, now in Spring Boot, let's try to understand in Spring Boot. No XML, no configuration. Doesn't matter either XML or Java config. No XML, no configuration. That means no XML and no Java configurations. No XML, no configuration means no 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 XML, no Java configuration. No XML, no Java configuration still. Next one. No need to deploy application into server team. No need to deploy application into server. No here see. Please try to understand. Now I am using my Spring Tool Shoot IDE. How to develop my first application team? Very very important. Very very important. Please be alert. How to develop my first application team? Application team with okay, MVC team. Okay, okay, first application with okay, MVC. Okay, that's it. I am developing. Spring Boot web application. Five new Spring Boot starter. Spring Boot web web demo demo. Please try to understand Spring Boot web demo. Now web demo. Step number one. boot web demo here okay that's fine click on next what dependencies you want i want web spring web i don't need react all i i need only spring, spring web click on next click on finish Here, what dependency is there, team? You have web dependency or not? You have web dependency or not? No. You have application dot properties file. Now here, see, you have this one. Please try to understand here. You don't need to write anything. Only what you will write here, you know. Only what you will write here, you know. You don't need to write anything team. Spring dot. You will write some configurations. Whatever you are, you have this web by NF. You need to write some small configurations. See. SRC main. SRC main. It is here. Web by NF. 
if it is not there what is your package that's fine if you are not specifying default packaging use jar only but here right src main web app new folder web app web app under web app there is a folder is called web by nf under web app generally what are the folders will be there css what are the folders will be there it is okay web application means images js okay by nf if any okay javascripts are there what happened js okay next one is under web app we would have web by nf get in so now see and just to team instead of writing what are the jsps are available here src main web app i'm just copying these two jsps copy web by nf you should create one more jsp folder jsp team it's good and one more thing is okay images you should copy image you should copy image team, team. see now done now here see what you should write in our application dot properties file you don't need to write anything single dot bc dot u dot prefix slash web by nf slash jsp single dot mvc dot u dot suffix dot jsp that's it write one property name some property something in boot go to load the properties that's it now write one simple controller team don't write any big big write one simple controller always your class should be under a sub package of this one only why at the rate component scan always it will read the root package you can't give the package name is different if you give package name is different no problem you can write here at the rate component scan you can you can um, provide that package name also here new new class new class simple hello world arm dot stenotech dot controller click on next here at the rate controller here at the rate first two one is at the rate controller the next one is rate request mapping great get mapping we have so many annotations are there get mapping slash hello world slash hello world public spring spring hello world hello world model model public string hello world model 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 dot 
add attribute string attribute name is equal to name attribute value is equal to just is a one simple spring boot application is a one simple spring boot application return what we should return hello world dynamic is the view name i mean model and view name done if you want any properties values how to read the values from the properties file at the rate value very very important topics we are going to discuss team now please concentrate at the rate value dollar question mark how to read the values from the properties file custom dot properties wait wait string verify now go ahead here here you should go hello world read the values from the properties file properties file read the values from the properties file where here wherever where is there here you should go for verify okay, that's it here always if you access this always spring boot will come or if you access this always okay Sino technologies will come whereas if you add this always you will get whatever value you will pass okay that value will come that's it your spring mvc has gone go to this allow world you are you have a name how to print here static you have a name that's it done your spring application is okay develop is done let's see please try to understand and never i run the application so using spring mvc see in spring boot please concentrate in spring boot just spring boot just write controller and add add one property add one property add okay add which property add one add one property add mvc view properties add mvc view properties in application dot now see here first i will run the output then i will show you okay, everything team. Spring Boot app. CC8080. Already 8080 in my in my application it is running. I told right it will use internal look embedded server. How to override my my how to customize my embedded server properties means port is equal to 022. Okay, I will explain okay, everything. Run as Spring Boot application. Run as okay, Spring Boot application. Now here see. If you read all this one once for me, please, please, please. There is a big story. Next to one hour, we are going to talk about. Okay, initialized. Okay, initialized. Embedded. Okay, initialized embedded see starting service tomcat starting service tomcat okay team okay next one okay starting service tomcat next one is what okay next one is okay initializing spring embedded okay publication context your tomcat has started your your tomcat has started how to access this application how to access this application simple i am 
going to my web app localhost 2022 slash we'll go to here slash hello world slash if you are not giving anything Sino Technologies welcome. If you give anything, that name will come. Or if you give anything, the value will be coming from properties file. What is properties file? Spring Boot custom property will come. Okay, I don't give anything. Slash. Japanese. Go for your controller slash hello world it will return hello dynamic it will return hello dynamic see oh slash is not their team here we are missing slash where we are missing slash if you see slash f by nf slash jsp in your properties file slash is missing okay now here see again we should stop again i am starting the again we should stop again i am starting the very very important team what we are trying to see now how the okay, embedded server will be loaded how it is works internally very very important team please okay, try to okay, understand here please okay, try to okay, understand here okay now see team. now i am started my spring boot application okay team now see now if you go here Slash hello world dot JSP only is coming, but to render the JSP, we need to add one dependency. That dependency is called Tomcat embedded Jasper team. By default, Spring Boot does not support this JSPs. To add this one, you should require a okay, dependency inside of the dependency have to add group id group id is equal to org apache dot apache dot tomcat dot embedded team next one artifact id artifact id is equal to tomcat iphone iphone embedded embed embed jasper team embed jasper team one second run as mvn install let's see org apache tomcat embed tomcat iphone embed iphone jasper team tomcat iphone embed iphone jasper team Okay, now we'll see. Now we'll see. Now I would start again. Run as Spring Boot application. It says this port number 20, 22 is already up and running. Stop this one go to here
understood team now it has started now if you so now you got the output okay here okay image will not come sometimes this browser will not be coming as this image okay that's fine okay now are we clear team now now are we clear team now here see see now billion dollars question is billion dollars question is a very very important team see practically we are going to write now here question is if you will give slash all over world slash reno reno not this one you should give my first controller default will come second one is slash hello world slash prop it will read the values from the properties file but here how spring is going to provide all this stuff team here is important one team how spring will how spring boot spring boot will create the dispatcher servlet object comma request ha mapping handler mapping object comma view resolver object and so on controller object like everything answer is answer is all these classes are framework classes or our user defined classes all are framework classes team if all are framework classes now here all this all this objects will be created with the help of the help of at the rate enabled auto configuration annotation first one how how auto configuration work work in spring boot spring boot my answer is now auto configuration is implemented with auto configuration is implemented with at the rate configuration class ct okay next one first one at the rate conditional triple x annotations are used are used to constraints constraints when auto configuration should apply to point number 2 usually auto configuration auto configuration classes uses 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 at the rate conditional triple x annotations annotations what is at the rate conditional annotations see now what is at the rate conditional annotations team first i will go here what is at the rate conditional annotations very very important team if you understand this okay you will understand auto configuration easily i have class a team and i have class b please try to understand i have class a and i have class b no my class a is okay depending on my class b is okay depending on class a okay now i want to create how to create b object b object how to create 
ये ऑब्जेक्ट ही है हाउ टू क्रिएट ये ऑब्जेक्ट सी हाउ टू क्रिएट ये ऑब्जेक्ट नो नो व्हाट आई विल डू रेट ग्रेशन एट द रेट पब्लिक क्लास स्प्रिंग कॉन्फ़िग सी एट द रेट बीन एट द रेट बीन पब्लिक ये ये go to here a a return new a when you should create my a class object means whenever you are n never at the rate conditional on class com dot city dot don't create blindly my a object please don't create blindly my a object no first you should verify my a object is present in the class path or not x b object is present in class path b object present in class path if the b object is present in the class path then only then only if the b object is present in the class path then only created the a object is it make sense team please try to understand team the b object is present in the class path then only you will create a team see that means there are so many there are so many okay so many of okay, use cases are their team so many of okay, use cases means i will write a few of the okay, okay, use cases if you want if if you want if you want registered a bean when you want a okay, registered first one a specific a specific class present in class path second one specific specific type of bean bean does not registered in application context three a specific file exist on location four a specific property value is configured in in a configuration file last one a specific system property is present or absent to overcome these problems so many conditional annotations are there in the market team so many conditional annotations are there in the market team that means class level conditions that means operate conditional on class if the class is present in the class path then only you should create the object to operate conditional missing bin to bin conditions bin conditions one a now three team operate conditional b or other it conditional on missing b conditional on missing class conditional on missing b c means if the b is not present in your container then only you should create if b is present then only and means if b is present use case is if the b is okay example team 
example if b is present in class path then only create here the next one is if if b is if a is not present in the class path it depends upon the requirement here conditional bin if b is present in container here if a is not present in container if already a is there why i should create bin why all these beans are created i would explain the reason team the conditions team what is the property based conditions at the rate conditional on property it's one team fourth one resource conditions why i should go here sixth one at the rate conditional on resource fifth one web application conditions seventh annotation at the rate conditional web application at the rate conditional web application see on son team all these are at the rate any expressions if you go your spring documentation you can see so many conditional annotations team hey what is the use of all these conditions here see you know now we'll start here what is the use of all these conditions team now we'll start team actual game will start now where is all the auto configuration classes what is the location of all the auto configuration classes team manifesto dot factory good but where is that one which jar it is there which jar it is there now see sir go for here spring boot auto configure jar sir in this jar in this jar you have a spring boot in this jar you have a meta nf here spring dot factories spring boot auto configure jar there is a in this jar there is a folder is called meta nf in this folder you have a file what is the file name sir spring dot factories okay now open this file name how many classes are there in this file name how many classes are there we have 185 how many auto configure classes auto configure import filters auto configure see by default why i should create all these beans see one second if you see here is my project is using is my project is using redis cache is my project is using couch db is my project is using mongo db is my project is using redis cache is my project is using uh, jms if my project is not using all the auto configuration classes why i should unnecessarily will use that's why how this source code is there how the source code is there see there are 150 plus auto configure classes in spring factories classes in spring factories file but my project i will use only four or five then then 
why we should load for our file then why we should load all the auto configure classes we don't need all these okay classes we don't need all the okay classes why we should load all the auto configure classes star sir please try to understand here now here see okay next one see in my project what are the classes are present in my class path and present in my bean in my container their classes only create the beans that is this can be possible with the help of the rate conditional xxx rate conditional xx annotations you understood team now here see go to your dispatcher servlet you have any auto configure classes available or not dispatcher dispatcher servlet auto configuration it will verify is this class is present if you open this source code control shift t it will verify see is this dispatcher servlet is available in your class path you have to check if it is available or not is this conditional on okay application is this servlet only understood sir if this if this class is not available in the class path how can mm -hmm. i will try to create the object if the class is mm -hmm. not available in the class path how can i will try to create this object that's why dispatcher servlet auto configuration class has the responsible to create the object of the dispatcher servlet to create the object of the dispatcher servlet it will verify the class is present in the class path if it is available the servlet constructor it will take care of to create the dispatcher servlet to okay, dispatcher servlet and dispatcher servlet is required for your uh, your mvc configuration that configuration it will be available somewhere it will take care during your application startup during your application startup only dispatcher servlet class as the responsible to create at the you know uh, one of the dispatcher servlet configure class will take care to create at the dispatcher servlet object you don't need to write any configuration what is this class dispatcher servlet auto configuration class is taking care taking care of creating the dispatcher servlet object so once this okay, dispatcher servlet will take care now it will take care to okay it will take care to identify all the controllers and all it will take care to identify the all the controllers and all that is okay okay understood sir now done so that's why you don't need to write anything here okay now here see okay next one sir see so what is here okay next one see now people are asking hey don't you need your okay, app.xml in your okay okay spring boot application don't you need your okay, app.xml in your okay, Spring Boot application? No. If it is now here, how how your server will now how your okay, Spring Boot knows how your okay, Spring Boot knows the 
how you are okay spring boot knows the embedded server now here see oh not this one why oh, yeah, i am coming to here how spring boot knows the embedded server okay, next one sir see one of the class is one of the class is embedded tomcat if you see one of the embedded web server factory one of the class is called embedded is there what is that embedded let's see embedded tomcat weapon embedded tomcat is there embedded tomcat it should be there here embedded web application context is mandatory here embedded web application why it is not there go to here embedded web application context web application happen why it is not there it should be there team during your application startup embedded uh, embedded web server factory customization control shift t this class will take care see this class will take care to create tomcat see now here we have we have team see how many embedded servers are there first we should know how many embedded server what is embedded server team embedded in server means server of inside the application server of inside the application server of inside the application is called embedded is called embedded server team so in in spring boot there are four embedded servers are there in spring boot in spring boot there are four okay, embedded servers are there team in spring boot there are there are four embedded servers one is tomcat other one is jp other one is undertow other one is it's just something like that uh, either net or something team something like that ever either net or something team we have different okay, embedded okay, servers are there in okay, spring boot team okay, different okay, embedded servers are there team okay, understood team fourth one i think net okay, net t is there team fourth one okay so by default here it will be a okay, tomcat server team by default it is okay tomcat okay server only team why default okay tomcat server and all look i will show you team by default it is okay tomcat server i told right fourth one is net t it is only used for reactive okay, applications team it is only used for reactive okay, applications here default embedded server is default embedded embedded server is tomcat default embedded server is tomcat team default embedded server is okay, tomcat team okay so if you want we can we can we can override we can override default behavior 
we can override default behavior we can override default behavior team hey please try to understand here you can override default behavior team okay how to override all ah, okay i will show you practically so we don't need we don't need we don't need add need to add any any additional any additional dependency any additional dependency okay any conditional dependency so it will come it will come along with along with spring boot starter web it will come along with spring boot starter web booting along with spring boot starter web booting so how this okay, internally it will be created during your application startup only during your application startup only see this is the auto configuration class this auto configuration class it is taking care of create the tomcat observer factory configuration team if it is jetty means you should get jetty also will be their team so embedded observer factory is taking care of to create the tomcat to create the jetty to create the undertow to create the netty please try to understand as of now in my class path what is there it will verify in your class path you have server is there no it won't create in your class path you have undertow is there no it won't create why go for your palm.xml i have added only spring boot starter web click here dependency hierarchy spring boot starter web as the responsibility to bring the embedded server also to bring the spring boot starter tomcat also understood team spring boot starter web as the okay, responsible to bring the to bring the embedded tomcat see spring boot starter tomcat spring boot starter tomcat is nothing but spring boot starter tomcat is nothing but embedded tomcat see i can see whole jars i can see tomcat have you seen whole anywhere the jetty no have you seen okay anywhere under tau no have you seen anywhere netty no please try to understand internals seem all these are internals we are using these okay, internals here only how the other red spring boot application will work how the spring application will run work how the auto configuration okay, internally will work embedded server internal details we have seen custom properties file and yaml file how then customize okay, embedded server i will show you team so this embedded it is the this next question so embedded is 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 responsible to create the embedded server created the embedded server based on the you know embedded server present in the class path understand sir if the tomcat is present in the class path this class will be executed it is a inner static class this method will be executed go to here here what happened it is which properties file your application dot properties file it is environment which environment it is somewhere you should create tomcat tomcat is equal to new tomcat
go to this here customize inside of the tomcat how to create the tomcat tomcat is equal to new tomcat tomcat embedded servlet container start tomcat servlet somewhere there is a class to create okay. in the class if the okay tomcat class is present tomcat server factory customizer will take care to create the tomcat object will take care to create the tomcat object when if this class is present in the class path if this class is present in the class path, it is executing this constructor. CC here, server properties dot tomcat is equal to get tomcat. You got the tomcat object. Once you got the tomcat object, read the properties from the tomcat object. This whole code is like responsible to create the tomcat object once tomcat object will get your application will be, will be deployed into your tomcat object your application will be deployed into your tomcat object your, your tomcat server team here okay eighth point see what is your eighth point here so in spring boot main method is the entry point if we use embedded server then no need no need packaging as where no need packaging as where it should be jar only it should be jar only it should be jar only here no Spring application dot run method dot run method will will start the will start the application will start the application will start the application you know and, and creates the and okay initialize okay creates the tomcat object okay and look, initialize the tomcat object initialize the tomcat then deploy the application deploy the application into tomcat server all tomcat server configuration configuration should be keep in application dot uh, should be keep in application dot properties file did you understand team now how to customize from my tomcat to customize from my tomcat to okay, embedded the jetty okay, how to do so how to override default behavior team i don't want tomcat i want jetty go to here go to here okay, exclude exclude exclusions exclusions exclude exclusion 
what you want to exclude group id artifact id okay group id means effective go for a dependency tomcat here is that one spring boot iphone starter iphone tomcat this is the artifact id group id artifact id spring boot iphone starter iphone tomcat okay what is the group id org dot spring framework dot boot let's see so we are excluding this tomcat If you are excluding Tomcat, what will be happened? Now we will see. It is a jar file now. You no need to see jar file. Spring Boot app. Embedded web server started with 2.0 if i exclude how it came exclusion exclusion i did exclude right embedded jasper embedded core embedded jsp let's see One second, run as and we install after exclude. Run as spring boot application. See, nothing will happen. No active profiles. If the jar is not found, what happened? Standalone container would be created. Standalone container would be created. Now I want to add jetty. I want to override my default Spring Boot for what? Jetty. How to add? How to add? Add the dependency. Dependency group ID org dot spring framework dot boot artifact ID spring dot boot iPhone starter iPhone. Let's see. Now we can run as. I'm stopping again. I'm stopping all. Now run as. MVN install. Now I will start. Now you will see in logs. It will go as a now in C log it will go as a jetty. Okay, instead of Tomcat, it will take as a okay, jetty thing. It will download the jetty dependency. Now we'll see. Now we'll see run as spring boot application understood team now if you see in your flow if you see in your flow 
jt embedded servlet would be created jt embedded servlet will be created understand team jt embedded look servlet okay embedded okay sir server has any questions team here how to override default how to override default one thing so okay is it clear or not so how how did you we okay default this one okay, instead of we'll do default one how we did it here? okay okay next one team so how to see by default using here spring dot if you want to change your port number you can change it's not a problem see i'm stopping it is not a predefined one it is not a user defined one it is a predefined one application dot properties file will have so many predefined one of the predefined properties is called server dot port depends upon the requirement you should use all predefined one see spring dot mvc see you can give mvc dot mvc dot here we have some view view prefix okay something view you can write all okay now you can use with the help of Okay, you can use with the help of one simple application we did using this team. What can we do? You can use this one with the help of, okay, either, okay, you can use this, either you can use predefined properties or you can use user defined properties team. It's all up to your wish team. So, using you don't need to prepare anything team using web applications you don't need to write any dev.xml any configurations everything will be taken care by your spring boot during your application startup only your your tomcat object your tomcat container will be created your spring application dot run method will start the application and initialize the tomcat when then okay deploy the application into tomcat server team all tomcat server configurations should be keep in application dot properties file okay. Okay, 11th one okay. next question team how to override default embedded default embedded server and add add new add other embedded servers or how to remove default embedded server answer is just by default by default by default tomcat is embedded in server which will be which will bring which will be bring with spring dot boot hyphen starter web web so if you want if we want any other other embedded server then exclude okay, exclude tomcat and add add new embedded server okay, exclude tomcat and add new embedded server exclude tomcat and add new embedded server is what how to okay, exclude team and exclude one and add a new one team add it the embedded embedded dependency okay, now clear okay next one so so by default tomcat exposes 8080 port number we can we can Customize this. We can customize this. We can customize using application application dot properties file. That is 
an application dot properties file you need to add server dot port these 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 values would be read in our in our tomcat uh, auto configure class st understood that's it team is what how to develop one simple application using a okay, mvc using a okay, mvc team so then our main important is how to implement the okay, rest apis using spring boot is very 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 important team how to implement rest api using using spring boot how to enable swagger for the okay, rest api how to invoke the REST API via Angular? How to invoke REST API via Angular? That is important team. Okay. Any questions team you can ask. You can use other rate request mapping either class level or method level. If you use class level, the path will be applicable for everyone. If you use class level, only it will be specified for only that one sir before creating the object the dependent objects are present in the uh, you know the object is present in the class path or not see okay, if the class is present if the bean is present in the container or not if the bean is present in the your property file or not i mean your configuration properties if the bean is present in the you know, conditional resource, if the resource is present in the okay, you are uh, okay, location or not, you are okay, location or not, okay, understand, right? These are all called at the rate and conditional annotations. If the class is okay, if, if the class B is present in the class path, if the class A, if the class A missed in the class path don't create if already a is there if a is missed then only if the b is present in container if b is if the a is not present in container then only created the object what is the okay, property before creating the object verify property is present in properties file if it is present then only you will do if it is not present it would give error i mean it won't take any action resource conditions if the specified resource is available so and so location then only it will be created see so all so many auto configuration classes are there auto configuration classes will be created with the help of conditional annotations with the help of conditional annotations these annotations would you know filter would help us to prepare the required auto configuration objects for our class required auto configuration objects for us understood sir if you go for your dispatcher servlet here you have a dispatcher uh, servlet auto configuration class here we have a okay, dispatcher and servlet auto configuration class you have study one here we have a dispatcher one See here we have a dispatcher. This dispatcher will not create the dispatcher servlet responsible to prepare the dispatcher servlet object. This will not create it blindly. What this will do? This will not create it blindly. What this will do? before creating this object before creating this object first it will verify 
before creating this object first it will verify dispatcher servlet is present in the class path or not if it is present in the class path then only it will do look at him if it is not present in the now if you go here control shift to t control shift to t go to here open so actually th this auto configuration class has the uh, responsible to prepare the to create the dispatcher servlet object but when this method will be executed if the servlet registration is already available in the class path default dispatcher already available when this class file will be created dispatcher servlet dot class is available in the class path is it available in the class path yes it should be available go to this package or this spring framework web dot servlet dot okay dispatcher servlet go to here your web mvc is there for this spring framework dot web dot servlet dot dispatcher servlet see if a jar is available in the class path the jar is available in the class path then what happened dispatcher this object would be created while creating this object what happened this class will be executed this method is called dispatcher servlet it will created the dispatcher before created this object it will verify all these conditions if all these conditions would be fulfill fulfill then only dispatcher servlet object would be created if all these conditions would be fulfill then only a dispatcher servlet object would be created you understood team see whenever object is created it will publish an event to whom your container spring boot internally will be using events and listeners it will publish an event to container understood team any questions so it will read the property from where your spring dot okay, mvc where it is there spring dot mvc spring dot okay, mvc from your documentation spring dot okay, mvc from your okay, documentation team based on the documentation only look it will be executed okay, everything team from your documentation if the property will be satisfied then only dispatcher servlet is he is, he is able to create this okay publish the events team everything configuration got it team team did you understand okay, everything all are clear team okay good now okay, next one team how to deploy your application as a verify how to deploy your application as a verify team means how to deploy even though it is an okay, okay spring boot but i don't want this spring boot i want this application as a verify this application as a verify team okay spring boot only but i want this application would be verify team so either you want to jar you want to where both you can treat if you want jar you can continue as in jar if you want to verify also you can go how to do this one means now please same project copy paste here spring boot dev verify it Spring Boot demo on huh? verify team. Mm -hmm. 
demo on verify now what happened see now i don't want to use jetty and all I don't want to use jetty and all. Now we'll see. I don't want to exclusion also. Default to my Tomcat only is there. Default to my Tomcat only is there. No, here packaging is verify. Here packaging is verify. Here it's not a jar, it's a packaging is verify team. We can create a freshly also, it's not a problem. Packaging is verified. Okay. okay, if you want, I can create a freshly. Why do you need all this stuff? Okay, no problem. Is it done, team? Now, here is interested one. By default, it is for what? If it is jar file this file will be executed it is verify if it is verify do you need a main method hey if you want to keep a main method if you want to run from your local you can keep but if you want to deploy into your external as a spring boot you need to extend you need to extends need to extends Spring Boot, Spring Boot, Servlet Initializer, Spring Boot, Servlet Initializer. You have to be okay, okay, extend Spring Boot, okay, Servlet Initializer, Servlet Initializer. Okay, now how to do this? Servlet initializer will have only one method. What is that one? Configure method. Control F. Configure. I want to override this method. configure override this method now what i will do builder dot sources application dot class that's it this spring application builder will take care spring application builder will take care to create the to perform the web application uh, you know what spring application dot run method will do everything spring application builder class will do everything team so if you want to deploy outside of your application what it should do builder sources all it went list sources means it is a list application builder it will use internally spring application dot run only spring application builder this spring application builder will take care builder will take care to perform uh, you know to 
identify which container you want it will try to uh, you know load this banner okay everything it will take care team add more sources configuration classes to the application application builder See, while loading this constructor, it will take care. Is it a publication type is null, banner mode is off. Same like Spring application dot run. Let us see how it works. That's it, team. Nothing you will do. Right click on it run as mvn installed now i will deploy this one into outside team i will deploy this one into outside team d i have a softwares i am deploying into here the apps go to deploy into outside team Okay, now go to here. Refresh target copy. No, it's not a jar, it's a run as MV and clean. How come it come as a jar? It should be a var file. Packaging as a var file. Refresh. Mvn installed. No need in this one. Now go to here. Now refresh. Now var file. Take this var file. We deploy into here. Go to here. Bin. of that pad start up dot bear yeah done now good now how to test see here you have a banner or not see everything Whatever your Spring application dot run method will do, if you deploy your application into, if you deploy your application into your Tomcat, who okay, who will take care team? This Spring application builder will take care. There is no main method here. Spring application builder will take care. Who will execute it? It is a configuration class only during your application startup. This what is the entry point of your spring boot application means the entry point is main method only okay the next one sir see now what happened so now you got this one now if you got started your spring boot application properly then what happened you know go there now access your application how to access your application what is your import number it is embedded server only what is your import number see it gave profiles also qa did you understand how the profiles it came to qa if it is in local no profile i can start this same application in my local if it is local no profile here 
starting only it will create the profiles that's why i told created the environment object create the environment object okay, externalize the your properties file how externalize the properties file this one understood see how the profiles came here i will show you later if i run in local your profiles would be zero how okay, i will show you because of your tomcat we have configured the profiles uh, you know config catlina properties Your spring dot profiles dot active is equal to QA. Okay, understood team. That's why it came here. You gave another one. Okay, it won't come. Only this one came. No, you want to access your application. However, you want okay, you can access your application. 2023. How to access your application? Go ahead here. HTTP localhost 2023 slash here is your controller just to give your controller hello world sorry it is it deployed into tomcat right i should go from your application localhost slash application slash the process if it is okay outside no need on which port number my tomcat is running which port number tomcat is running 2021 it will ignores the your application dot properties file because of if it is a external client it will ignores this configuration if it is embedded to server it will uh, read this configuration if it is it will override these properties uh, by you know your tomcat uh, okay port will be override this port go to here got a team just you should know how to externalize okay how to deploy so spring boot default default support default support package Packaging M model is jar file, but we can we can enable we can enable packaging as where also we can enable packaging as where also we can enable packaging as where also Spring Boot default in supporting package model is jar Spring Boot default supporting packaging model is jar is jar but we can enabled we can enable the packaging as where also how you have to, to enabled to, to to enable as a where our spring boot spring boot main class main class means in class in a bracket which is which is representing with or the rate spring boot application main class in the bracket which is okay representing with or the rate spring boot application main class main class should be main class sh should be okay extends with the Spring Boot Servlet okay, Initializer main class should be extends with Spring Boot Servlet okay, Initializer. Main class should be extends with Spring Boot Servlet Initializer. Spring Boot Servlet Initializer. Spring Boot Servlet Initializer. 
should be extends with spring boot servlet initializer okay this spring boot servlet initializer will have configure method which returns which returns spring boot application which returns spring application builder which returns spring application builder object spring application builder class we will take care we will take care we will take care to we will take care to identify to identify the required to identify the required container spring application builder class will take care to identify the required container to identify the required container spring application builder class will take care to identify the required container and so and start the required container after that after once in container will be created and start the okay book instantiating book instantiating book instantiating all the required beans book instantiating all the required beans it returns the spring application builder object spring application builder class will take care to identify the required card the instantiating all the required beans all the required beans understood all the required beans next topic is very 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 important thing what is difference between normal jar and spring boot jar so now we will see what is normal jar and spring bootable jar team i would say simple i would say now you will see okay difference you will see okay difference you will see i am going to develop one simple application i am going to develop one simple application one simple application file new spring boot project spring boot jar demo spring boot jar spring boot spring boot jar app try to understand spring boot jar app click on next no need all the stuff team no need all the stuff yeah, if you want you can add as a web is is not a problem now next next click on finish no that's fine now here see since it is a you are added to web it is a web app all are good team all are good i am adding one simple controller also simple controller com dot stenotech com dot stenotech uh, controller controller simple hello world okay, next examples we will see some big big examples hello world hello world controller it is a, it is a simple one team it is a simple one again i don't want to spend too much of time for this okay, simple one what is our hello world application is there our goal is what is okay, executable jar done if you have any jsp and all is there if you have any jsps would be there copy this two folder src main created a folder is called okay map
based here created a folder is okay back based here till now we are good okay, till now we are good now how the hello world controller how the hello world controller okay all are good team now my question is please see i am removing this if you are using this spring okay sts tool this by default came what is the importance of this by default i would explain please see very very important most of the intros are asking most of the intros are asking very very important team please concentrate now oh, here see you will tell run as mvn install run as mvn install team why here may be unit test cases are there maybe unit test cases are there now run as mvn install okay now run this application team port number whatever you want you can give server dot port i am running this application run as spring boot app could not resolve the placeholder custom properties okay no problem i don't mean that it is required now my intention is not for reading this one one application team now run as java application see you are running your application from where in your local how to access your application if you are running your application in where in your local how to access your application you can access your application you can access your application you can access your application not this one this is okay how to access 2024 go to your application hello world hello world why it is not coming you are not added this jspt you are not added this embedded jsp by default your spring boot does not support this jsp team that's why you have to add okay embedded jasper jsp team embedded jasper jsp go to here embedded jasper jsp team now let's see team very very important now run as mvn installed you will see entire spring boot movie team please okay, trust me now here see now done sir now how to start sir go to here start slash what is the 
port number here 2024 http localhost 2024 hello world Hello world. It is not coming. It is a simple application only. You are getting 404 error. Spring Boot application. Okay. Hello world. Okay. Com dot .stinoteco dot controller. Okay. Name is there. What is the problem with here? 2024. Okay. SRC main web app under web app. Okay, okay, team. It is a web application, right? Team, you have to add these two properties, team. Because how you are how you are spring knows uh, view and resolver team. How you are spring knows spring dot mvc dot u dot prefix. What is prefix team slash? FBNF slash JSP slash spring dot MVC dot view dot suffix is equal dot JSP dot JSP now done now it should work team go to here run as Spring Boot application. Run as Spring Boot application. Now here see. Run as Spring Boot application team. It should work. It should work team. See. Image is okay. That's fine. It should work. Done. But here. Please concentrate. Please concentrate. Very, very important. Very, very important team. Now, you deployed application into where? You, your application is there in your local now. If your application in local, how you are run your application? Right click on project or right click on main class. So, run as a Java application. It is a okay. STS run as Spring Boot application. Run as a Java application. If it is a okay. STS, run as a Spring Boot application. Now, see, it is in our local is working, but I can't deploy. See, I I should deploy my application into dev server. I should deploy my application into production. I should deploy my application into dev server. I should deploy my application into production. How to de into dev server? How to deploy your application into production? Please, it is I should deploy application into a dev server. What is your you, 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 your dev IP address? 10.0.0. Some 120. I should deploy my application into production. See. Spring application should be deployed into somewhere remote. Remote may be on prime servers, remote may be cloud. See how you are deploying, you are deploying into, you are deploying as a jar file. You are going to deploying your Spring Boot jar file into your remote. Here, we are moving into Spring Boot jar. Now, you can't go your... <laughs> Okay, you can't go. see here. Small thing, team. Small thing. Hey, my sinotech.com is there. My sinotech.com, I would uh, okay, test in my local. sinotech.com, okay. This whole code I will be placed into my local. I will test it. If my code is working fine, okay, everything is okay. Then what I will do, team? I will deploy into remote. If you do okay, deploy into remote, means everyone can able to access. If you deploy into your local, means now what you will do, see not local host dot see you will be test in your local. I will test everything in my local. If it is working fine, then only I will deploy into my remote server. All we will discuss in Java real time project team. Seriously, 
all will have a discussion of java or real time project team so how you will deploy into see if it is local you are right click on it you are test it in local host okay but you are deploying into your remote server as a jar file how you will deploy if you deploy into your remote server jar file what happened if you deploy your into jar happen how to execute your jar java iphon jar your file name dot jar team what is your file name java iphon jar your file name team what is the output team so you will go to your your prod java iphon jar he will execute it like this team please try to understand he will go to your production java iphon jar he will execute it this one team whenever this statement will be executed what happened let's assume that i want to move this one i am copy here i don't want to execute from my ide most of the interviews are asking how to run spring boot application does it execute how to run spring boot application how does it execute let's assume that i am deploying my application into aws team it is my okay, aws folder it is my aws one instance okay ec2 okay, instance i have okay deployed team please i will deploy in okay aws also let's assume that it is in okay aws team it is a normal jar why it is normal jar i will explain i am i am deploying into jar you feel like your jar is available in you feel like your jar is available in where on off remote you feel like your jar is available in where on off remote place team on off okay remote place your jar is available now here see the how to run team go to in this location cmd java if and jar see you will give this one team what other you got okay everyone no manifest attribute no main manifest attribute i want to show you what is there i want to show you what is there okay, inside of this see to run my spring boot application we need these many jars are required we need these many jars are required but now here see i want to okay, extract this jar file how to extract this jar file how to extract this jar file please please okay try to understand how to extract this jar iphone xvf iphone xvf single boot iphone jar whenever this statement will be executed see now here meta nf meta nf see what is error here earlier error earlier error was no main manifest attribute okay, inside of this manifest no main attribute okay but go to here com dot c note only your dot class files are available only your dot class files are available have you seen anywhere have you seen anywhere all this jar files now here the difference is now here see that's why if you want to run your application along with your along with your classes along with your classes if it is normal jar means only your project dot class files only will come if it is a normal jar means only your project dot class only will come normal jar means normal jar so it, it contains only only project related dot class files will be there 
Bichar, ¿no? Bichar, ¿no? We can't, we can't execute the, we can't okay, execute or run the, we can't execute the Spring Boot application with only, with only dot class files. To okay, execute the Spring Boot application, we need project, we need we need project dot class files. We need project dot class file to execute this Spring Boot application. To execute this Spring Boot application, we need project dot class files plus all required jar files plus some class loaders. All here. All would be available where Spring Boot, Spring Boot jar. All would be available in where Fat jar, Fat or Uber or Sharded. What is Fat jar? What is Uber jar? What is Fat jar? Is these jars are executable jars which contains the classes along with required dependencies now here question is how to make your spring boot application as executable jar executable jar very very important every project it is a mandatory every spring boot project it is a mandatory just to add add spring boot spring boot maven plugins Maven plugins in palm.xml so that so that that jar would become as that jar would become as executable jar or fat jar what dependency that's why this spring tool shoot every spring boot project it is adding org dot spring framework dot boot Spring dot spring iPhone boot iPhone Maven plugins. You have to add these dependencies in every Spring Boot application team. You have to add every Spring Boot application team. Go there here. Add it here. No, okay, run as MV install here. Now copy this outside of Eclipse. Don't say in your real time how to run your, your Spring Boot application means right click on the project. No, it is only for developer testing. In your real time production, you should deploy your application into AWS. How to run your application means Java, iPhone, jar, you should run it. I'm using Spring Boot jar. How, how to go the, this one Java hyphen jar board. now see now what you will get see 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 here please no profiles set failed to start why failed to start this port number is already used here okay we'll stop here see see here now spring boot jar it should start now default profiles started your spring boot application or not what is the okay, internal of this okay how this okay, internally will be okay, executed see now here after all you are adding only spring boot maven okay plugins after you are adding only spring boot maven plugins after you are adding spring boot maven plugins how it works internally now please see how it works internally please no 
now it should come here okay instead of you will run there you are running here output also it should come that's fine 2024 hello world the output is okay no issues all are good but what is the difference between normal jar and executable jar now i would uh, i would stop this now i want to extract okay, inside what is happening jar jar if an xvf extract spring boot jar see 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 here go to go to stop this tomcat go to here see you got our class org spring framework boot so many spring boot loader classes team so many classes jar launcher class okay we'll discuss all war launcher class see all your jars boot enf lib folder you have all the jars which are required classes you have all the classes you have required meta nf it is a very critical earlier you got the error is earlier you got the error is meta nf means see here no manifest file open this manifest no main method in manifest no main manifest of attribute now if you see now if you see you have main class jar launcher so it is you have a main class is there hey what happened internally now here what happened internally so now here see now please so most of the interviews are asking a question is sir please okay, try to understand most of the interviews are asking question is how to make your spring boot is i told right just to add the okay add the below dependencies add the below dependence add the spring boot maven plugins okay, that's fine now so now now if you want to see in commands are how to extract the jar files commands are jar iphone xvf cvs means the creation file name dot jar okay now how to run the spring boot application so question is the next one how to run the spring boot application how to run the spring boot application question is now java iphone jar file name dot jar now oh. everyone is asking team even if i will be the interview i want to ask what is that question you know please now what is that question you know how to run how to run how to run the boot application or how to run the boot application or or what happens when when java iphone okay how to run the boot application see if the guy is a okay, intelligent guy he will tell sir java iphone jar file name dot jar immediate to my question is immediate to my question is how does it executes how does it okay, executes what happened when when we run spring boot jar application very important thing see now with this knowledge what is our normal jar is okay what is our spring boot jar structure 
bring about jar structure is please concentrate bring about jar structure is meta nf go to here meta nf inside of the meta nf manifest dot mf everything is here depending on manifest dot mf everything is depending on manifest dot mf manifest dot mf manifest file what is there okay inside of this manifest file what is there okay inside of this manifest file team you have instead of this what is there inside of this manifest file main class main class and also you have start class and also you have start class your spring application main method class it is start class these two are a very very critical team parallel to meta nf parallel to you have a boot inf boot information boot information inside of this boot information inside this boot information you have a classes you have a classes hyphen star dot class here our applications here project applications application classes application classes location next one here star dot not here classes is okay. okay next one what is the next one libu folder in this libu folder what is there here inside of the libu folder star dot classes classes of required required dependent jars required okay dependent jars after that is after that you would have org after that after that we would have parallel to this boot we have org org we have spring framework we have org spring framework dot org dot spring framework dot boot boot dot loader loader dot launcher dot class Each launcher you have jar launcher dot class. We have jar launcher dot class. We have where launcher dot class team. Okay. Now see it is my Spring Boot jar structure team. Normal jar only this only. Normal jar only okay dot class only. Don't have lib and all. Okay, team. Now what happened? Now here, okay, what happened? So Spring Boot jars has has provided three class loaders. Three class loaders. Okay, one is one is now here. See, Spring Boot class has provided three class loader. That is launcher dot class jar launcher where launcher jar launcher is an uh, you know it is a abstract class it's there are two two implementations are there jar launcher and where launcher 
so here spring boot spring boot has spring boot we will use customized customized class loaders to load the dot class files based on the based on the boot jar or where directory structure next one yeah okay launcher 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 dot class is an is an interface sorry is an abstract class is an okay, abstract class for which there are two implementation classes one is one is jar launcher dot class another one is war launcher class another one is where launcher class where where file okay now when we run when we run when we run the java iphone jar file name dot jar it will perform below task it will perform below things one is one is this is java iphone jar java iphone jar file name dot jar is the is the input to, to jvm input to, to jvm input to, to jvm next one two jvm jvm will invokes the invokes the default class loader default class loader asking to load dot class files of the jar load dot class class loaders asking to jvm will invokes the default class loader asking to load the dot class class files of the jar the default class loaders the default class loaders only loads only loads the dot class files directly directly the package okay okay inside the jar which are not which are nothing but org dot which are nothing but org dot spring framework dot boot dot launcher and also jar launcher and also var launcher fourth one upon upon loading this okay, dot class files loading the dot class files in jvm will reads the will reads the meta nf slash meta nf slash manifest dot mf file and pick up the main class and pick up the main class and okay, executes okay, executes it in our case it is jar launcher because jar launcher will take it okay if it is war file war launcher will take care jar launcher will loads the will loads all the will loads all the dot class files and and okay dependent jars packaged packaged like inside our jar files under boot inf slash lib and boot inf slash classes directory sixth one okay then it goes to meta inf meta inf dot manifest dot manifest dot mf and looks for looks for startup okay looks for okay which one looks for start class looks for okay, start class start class okay, attribute 
and reads the main class name reads the main class name of our application reads the main class name name of our application and calls calls the main method calls the main method to begin to begin execution of our application that's it team so this would happen internally if anyone will ask you have to explain and our see always java means it is a input for jvm whatever in jvm will do in jvm invokes default class loaders asking to load the dot class file of the jar the default class loaders loads dot class files directly in package inside the jar so here okay, default class loaders are org springboard here okay, default class loaders are launcher jar launcher and warm launcher upon loading this dot class files upon loading these dot class files all are okay, dot class files here default class loaders are this only upon loading this okay, dot class files jvm will read this information file and pick up the main class and okay, execute it pick up the main class and it okay, execute which one jar launcher this jar launcher will take care to load this boot inf class to load this boot inf dot class file boot inf lib also jar launcher will load the dot class file present and and okay, dependent jars package like inside of our jar files under boot inf info and boot inf once it is loading it goes to the meta nf manifest file that information also it would be available here it will go to the meta nf manifest file here looks for start class or this com dot synotech spring boot jar application is the start class spring boot jar application is the start class then it will be okay executed understood team it is how the spring boot if it is var file the story will be same instead of jar launcher here var file will come it is very 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 important most of the interviews are asking hey what is the difference between normal jar and spring boot jar or how does it it execute you know how to run, run your spring boot application in, in, in your production what happened when you run the your spring boot application as a jar file team so you all note your spring boot jar should be fat jar or your spring boot jar should be uber jar fat jar or sharded jar that means what is mean by fat fat means it will be okay something you know more weight you know normal jar only okay dot class file fat means more weight means along with your dot class file you have all the required dependency classes and dependency jars also would be available so that that jar would be as executable jar how to run the see two things where file also how to run your var file means outside of your tomcat okay i run right okay, just now you are okay you, you can run var file outside means okay tomcat you, okay your okay, external tomcat will run that is see how you are are you if it is jar file this is flow if it is var file what happened same code you will do during your tomcat startup inside of the tomcat your jvm will be there your jvm will take care of all this stuff story will be same inside of the tomcat your jvm is there jvm will take care of all this stuff it will like execute this var launcher okay you okay you, you got it team okay difference between normal jar and spring boot jar or any questions team sir i have a question sir yeah please happy to help yeah. sir actually in my project uh, we are using only var file sir so my question is uh, when to use this jar and when to use this var file sir sir good good point see if it is var file means which server where sir, you are sir. deploying your application sir uh, in tomcat server only sir in tomcat or external only you are deploying 
Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes. See, yeah, m m maybe two, three reasons, sir. The first reason is, uh. if it is embedded one, what happened, you know, your Tomcat thread pool default is 200. Okay. Yes. In your, if you go here, uh. it will support default is your Tomcat okay, thread pool is there. Tomcat, maybe thread pools. Spring boot, Tomcat thread pool default here it would support for max 200 sir server dot tomcat dot max threads are 200 this is the one reason server dot tomcat dot max threads max max threads okay this is the one reason sir outside it may be more okay this is the one reason other reason is thing configuration is okay inside of this application data properties file so are you using cloud if you are using cloud 100 percent you will not use okay, external tomcat sir my guess is you are not using the cloud i mean you, your company is small company there is no huge traffic it's a startup, to your, it's, a startup. Uh, it's a startup right uh, no uh, earlier we are using amazon uh, aws aws ec2 instance sir Later yeah. we can move to other other. Uh, I don't know that name. Uh, I forgot. Then we are using internal server. We are deploying that. Uh, uh, yeah, you should okay, educate the, them, sir. Oh. Yeah, okay. I would explain, sir. When to use where file? You know, okay. When to use this? Okay, embedded jar. Okay, okay. I told right. Your company may be a small. Okay, when to use okay, external server and embedded server sir answer is most of the so embedded server embedded server would prefer if if the if the application expecting expecting more traffic and need more okay, instances need to create more okay, instances at runtime that is okay, instances are scale up scale out and scale down scale out and scale down scale out and scale down embedded server would prefer if the application is okay, expecting more traffic and need to create more okay, instances at okay, runtime it is more suitable for cloud applications cloud environment cloud okay, cloud applications okay, cloud based okay, deployments and and embedded server is embedded in server is is, a, is very uh, value in in micro service architectures good question microservice architecture it would be more helpful going forward everything is micro services right understood sir so because why micro services more means it is a big topic sir we'll discuss in okay, next week okay, i'm telling it's not like okay small topic okay. it's a okay, it's okay, a big topic if your architecture is a micro service architecture go for embedded server so many benefits you will see with respect to um, containerization with respect to, to auto scaling with respect to, to uh, you know with respect to, to uh, this okay, availability uh, okay with respect to, to resources con consumption everything sir everything is i would explain with respect to, to okay auto scale and okay, availability of your application and okay resources consumption now uh, you know for the cost wise benefits everything go for okay embedded sir external means number one not fit for microservices if your application architecture is architecture would be monolithic and okay next one is okay uh, traffic would be not suitable for cloud no most of them for on prem servers on prem servers would be use this 
बिकॉज दे नोस ट्राफिक दे नोस ट्राफिक वुड बी फिक्स would be limited okay limited means your applications knows okay every day of how many of users will come okay am i right if it's a small application maybe yes, every day some 500 1000 users will come okay and that's why they are not taking any risk they are going to this one this case is sir okay sir okay you okay, understood now you got thank it you, sir thank you yeah yeah yes. but you can suggest to them how okay how you will be suggest how much you know, if, if the lead and all okay we okay, will take a discussions how much cost we are paying this external server if external only why can't we go for this embedded if the traffic is very less why can't you go for this embedded because no need to pay okay, anything okay, inside of your app only this embedded is there so that we can avoid this cost saving and all okay, you can suggest to them before you suggest to them you did some poc because these days will talks right you okay. did locally in one poc show them how benefits if you migrated to embedded understood sir so that they will listen in yeah, it okay. right most of them talks more and uh, you know poc is <laughs> yeah doing less okay there is if you if we yeah. if we say anything they will ask one proof is correct yeah see that, that, that is absolutely i can talk okay 10 things okay 100 things but who will do at the you know the ground level okay 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 understood sir okay good uh, one question sir uh, like how yeah, you okay. control annotations right uh, service annotation hmm. uh, when it is is it uh, the component scanning is loading all the classes right Controller annotation when it will load controller sir, and services yeah. during your, okay your application startup only all your see but by default it has in three annotations right yeah okay if it is in, okay if it is in three annotations means component scan means current classes all over yeah. our see by default it will be yeah and current classes it is available ah uh, here it is so why spring boot to main class would be at root level why spring boot main class is always at the root level means this is equivalent to either you can use this annotation or you can use a component scan or you can use a okay, enable uh, or the okay, auto configuration or you can use your spring boot configuration no problem okay, instead of using one you can use in three what is the component scan if you are not specified any component scan default package name is com.cnotech yeah this one basic... yeah 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 i mean you are during your application startup do one thing you can write one constructor in controller constructor in service constructor in uh, dao mm -hmm. okay sir during your application startup this is what your question right sir yeah the controller annotation yeah how which one is the parent of the controller annotation now we are see good question if you ask like this it will be okay now see now i would stop this run as see sir okay i would explain by default every spring boot is a singleton every spring boot is a singleton all singleton classes are loaded during your application startup your controller your service all everything how it happens during your application startup dispatcher servlet object will be created how based on the auto configuration classes auto configuration classes are of okay, depending on the adherent conditional your dispatcher servlet will create the spring container this one uh, yeah. so here your okay. controller class object will be created it is your spring container it will be created okay so got during your application startup only your dispatcher object will be created 
here only your controller your service your dao all the objects beans are created inside of the your spring container so dispatch the server is the main key here okay. yes yes okay i understand yeah, that's why we okay day discussed right okay auto configuration of okay dispatcher and all understood sir yes sir yeah i don't want to uh, during startup let's see there is an annotation is called lazy annotations in let's see we'll start again in spring there is a annotation is called lazy annotation means don't create during my application startup please create only when it is required see have you seen any constructor now uh, yeah i understand lazy i understand if you are stopping yeah, the yeah. class yeah 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 create the gene only to load yes yes got it sir okay next questions team okay next one team what is our okay next one we should go for okay actuators team after actuators we should go for okay database stuff team okay, db stuff spring jdbc spring data jpa okay after that we'll go for one okay end to end application how to build we are going to see swag uh, file upload angular integrations redis cache kafka so many are there please be ready okay, actuators team what is actuators see now when we build our application our application post completion of the testing we can't deliver we can't deliver the application into into production team we can't deliver the application into production environment because our client is asking client will expect monitor monitor the application in production what is mean by monitor the application means so why we should monitor the work application see yeah. how is your how is your health check team if you go your uh, you know hospital uh, you know your doctor will uh, you know uh, by seeing your pulse he will be able to know how is your health similarly how your applications are working or not health check next one metrics metrics means how many um, beans are created you know how many you know how is okay, okay your application you can go whole your application team the okay, next one okay health check for how many okay, threads are active how many threads are creating any okay, okay threads issues will be coming or not okay fifth one any logs information and so on everything your actuator will provide team everything we your actuator will provide how the actuator will provide practically i will show post completion of our development of our development the developer developer has to spend developer has to spend lot of time lot of time in building in building required required okay, utilities and okay, integrate okay, integrate them into application integrate them into application to make it production ready one is the developer has to spend lot of time next one cost of making all the application of utility cost of making for application of utility is few of them okay open source some few of them license third one if it is not ready delay client will tell i want to move application into production if it is not work delay in okay delivering the application in production this things team all this to overcome all these problems to overcome all the above problems spring boot spring boot has introduced has introduced spring boot has introduced a new feature is called actuator actuator new feature is called actuator how the actuators will work how it is running and all we'll see practically now spring boot actuator is a is a pre packaged is a pre packaged 
two points that are commonly that are commonly required in monitoring and managing that are commonly required monitoring and managing in application application in production environment application in production environment which are built by the spring boot developers spring boot developers can easily integrate with spring boot applications easily integrate with the spring boot application using actuator we can make we can make an production ready production ready we can make an production ready based we can make an application as production ready application as production ready so to enable actuators to enable actuators actuators to okay, enable actuator of end points within our application we need to add spring boot starter spring boot starter actuator of a dependency spring boot starter actuator of a dependency in pom.xml which will enable okay which will okay, enable all the end points all the okay, end points here how the okay, dependencies and all now we will see practically now what are the end points are available actuator module has provided bunch of end points which we can use in monitor the application one is slash info second one is slash health check slash info means for what to provide the information about your application provides the information about your application application like name of the application end users of the applications and so on okay health check means health check means okay instead of you will do okay, everything to to check to check readiness readiness and liveness how your application is ready how your application is okay live of your application third one is slash environment to see all the okay, environment variables all the environment variables configured configured properly or not fourth one is slash beans and so on so many team all the bean definition all the bean definition of the ioc container fifth one and so on so, so many are there metrics metrics means memory how the your application memory is there how the cpu is there how the how the memory and the cpu okay utilization is there now sixth one loggers display the information about loggers and their configuration seventh one team set down conditions so many are available team so how to okay, enable this and all now we'll see okay okay practically team see i will show you practically by default by default first i will add team i will add even though it is one one simple application how to add or okay, how to okay, enable this actuator so okay, how to okay, enable this actuator go to here okay, dependency team i am trying to all my okay, level best team it is okay, okay your responsibility you have to practice spring boot is nothing if you spend on this two days okay, nothing okay spring boot team org dot spring framework but a few cases are there ours are core is always strong no problem you have so many you know online is there you have to spend time you have to spend time okay only the shortcut of uh, how to grow means okay spend time okay that's it spring boot iphone starter iphone actuator spring boot iphone starter actuator so it will enable the actuator okay now we'll see team now we'll see okay added in your dependency you have it spring boot actuator spring boot actuator if it is not there maven install now here see next one team by default all the above endpoints all the above endpoints are accessible 
accessible it is a prefix it is a prefix of slash actuator slash end point name that means your okay your http colon your application name your domain name slash actuator slash actuator slash health slash info slash health end point name slash matrix and so on so it will take care of everything okay it will give so how it will give okay i will explain to you these end points are exposed in exposed in two ways team one is one is via amx java management extension second one is web http web end points jmx is a protocol used only for administrating and managing j2e applications okay jmx team jmx okay, end points jmx okay, end points used jmx is a protocol used to used for okay administrating used for managing the j2e applications we can use jmx okay api for to connect j2e applications and okay but you know these end points if you want to use jmx spring boot actuator has okay, exposed all the above okay, end points using jmx where we can write J jmx programs in accessing these okay, end points team where we can use jmx you should use jmx programs you should use jmx program in accessing the end points got it if it is okay http team another one is okay http these these end points are our rest api okay http okay, end points are http end points like okay, rest api rest api where we can send where we can send okay http request http request and can access access them okay see now here okay, very very important note these end points these end points to be accessed we need to we need to enable and expose them we need to enable and okay, expose them unless okay, exposed those are not going to accessible very very important people don't know this people are trying to actuator is not working unless okay exposed those are not going to be accessible those are not going to be accessible unless okay exposed those are not going to be accessible by default by default all the okay, end points are all the end points are enabled except shut down if you give shut down also means then your application will be shut down i will show you that also due to security reason in case okay, end point is okay, disabled it means that it's removed from the application if if this end point is disabled then if this end point is disabled okay, it means remove the application remove from the application team if i start write two two things okay you, okay you will be okay, able to know how to write you can write management dot end point dot end point name is equal to true or false you need to write in your application dot properties file or application dot oml file you are configuring management dot okay end point dot okay end point name is equal to true or false if you want okay enable set down the okay, end point what 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 you will do if you want okay enable okay, end point management dot okay okay end point dot okay end point name dot end point name dot okay enabled end point name dot enabled by default all the all the okay, end points are okay, enabled if you want okay enabled your okay except okay, shut down if you want enabled okay, shut down 
management dot endpoint dot shutdown dot enabled is equal to, by default it is a false now if you want to make it as a true you can make it okay it's not a problem but you are giving shutdown is okay enabled means okay, terminate your okay, application okay, so shutdown is okay enabled means okay, terminate your okay, application by default okay all the okay endpoints are okay enabled is equal to true okay except okay, shutdown okay except shutdown but you know see here by default all the endpoints are okay enabled okay, except shutdown how your code is there management dot it is a predefined i can show you your application dot properties file management dot endpoints dot enabled 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 iphone by default by default is equal to false means will disable will disable all the endpoints after okay, disable by default it is okay, enabled if you want to okay, disable okay if you want to okay, enable specific endpoint if you want to enable a okay, specific endpoint management dot Okay, end points management dot okay end point dot you should give enabled okay end point name okay info dot enabled is equal to true only info only will be enabled remaining all will be okay remaining all it will be not enabled see either you can it's all okay depends team all end points are enabled means by default enabled except in shutdown if you want to disable all, I want only particular endpoints due to some security, means you can okay, enable only those one. Next one, T. By default, all the okay, endpoints exposed. By default, all the okay, endpoints are okay, exposed to JMX technology. But when it comes to web endpoints, only Two endpoints exposed by default. What are those two? One is info, another one is okay. Let's check. One is info, another one is okay. Okay, let's check. Expose even web endpoints. We need to enable them by using the below properties. If you want, okay, okay expose web endpoints. You need to okay, expose the below one. If we want to okay, expose the web endpoints, we need to manually enable them using below entry in our properties file. How to do if it is JMX means management dot same team management dot endpoint dot okay, endpoint name management dot okay, endpoint dot here it is a okay, jmx right jmx dot exposure exposure dot exposure dot include exposure dot okay, okay include what endpoint you want to okay, include give your okay, endpoint name info if you want more info or metrics, we can give all. Same if it is web means you have okay, include or you have okay, exclude. Both are available. You have okay, include or you have what endpoints you have okay, exclude and what endpoints you have okay, okay, include. If it is web means web means management dot okay, endpoints dot web exposure dot Okay, exclude and okay, include whatever you want you can give that's it if you give star means it will give all exclude one is exclude another one is okay include team now we'll show you practically i want okay include only to i want okay include star all the endpoints are okay, exposed here if i give here star expose I want to include means all of endpoints. Here I will give star. 
by default all the end points are all the end points are exposed team no we can see okay practically how it works team we can see it is very very simple you no need to write any business logics and all i will show you practically how it is enabled by default your it will be enabled you don't need to do anything by default it will be enabled only if you want to expose you should add this if you give star means all it would be happened if you give star means all it would be happened here it is web if it is star means all it would be enabled just you will access your application via your actuator urls that's it only in your application dot properties file what are the annotation what are the end points if you want to expose you should expose using like this or if you want to expose all means you should go for star okay depends in in real time most of them will not enabled for all due to some security reasons they will be enabled for only few how this few that we will see team now understood team if you want we can okay, disable also it's all our okay depends understood team any questions team here two okay, definitions i will write so that what is okay enabled okay, end point means is equal to enabling enabling the okay, enabling an end point enabling an okay, end point end point means okay, work including that end point as part of our application okay well, what is mean by okay, expose means okay okay expose okay, end point means even though that end point is okay, including your application making it accessible it okay accessible to the public is called okay, expose your end points are available in, in your application but how to access the application from outside if you want to access the application you should go for public understood sir okay okay any doubts team okay now we will start it is a simple one our spring boot application now once it is done right then we will start our database stuff team see now go to here we have okay, enabled your okay, actuator team enabled your okay, actuator here now we are seeing now okay, run as we been installed run as spring boot app team during your application startup if you would see all all endpoints ct okay, expose one endpoint is called base endpoint is actuator base endpoint is actuator how to start this actuator team go to here either you should go to here or you should go to here what is the url here http what is your application port number 2024 slash actuator slash actuator team as actuator by default all the okay, end points are enabled but if you want to okay, expose slash info see it is not a okay, exposing team it is okay, enabled by default all will be okay, enabled how to okay, expose go to your spring boot here management dot go to your spring boot here management dot endpoint how to okay, expose team how to okay, expose management dot endpoint how you want to okay, expose you want web web expose expose is equal to okay, exposure exposure dot include star team star means all or if you want only info stopping 
run as mvin installed mvin installed run as spring boot application team spring boot application team started your spring boot app team okay now how to start this one here go to here info see info is okay nothing is there now if you are trying to do okay the check team no now you are trying to do metrics team no now you are trying to do beans team no either you can specify at specific endpoints or you can specify at all if you want to two three okay endpoints info comma health check comma metrics all you should give or you should give star it depends upon your how your application okay requirement team spring boot app understood now see all the beans how many beans are created still now during your application startup in our application In JSON, right? JSON formatter. It would give all the beans team. See, format it is. Each and every bean, how many beans are created, how it works, everything it was created team. So you, you can able to know which bean has created or which bean has not created you can able to note in xml see bean names spring transaction auto configure web endpoint auto configure okay web endpoint auto configure so many are there team see so you want to know how the your metrics beans right you want to know metrics see how much cpu is there how much ram is there understood team so this is the way how how we should do it so this is the way how we should do it now info Info means okay, no okay, information is there. If it is there, it will come. Now beans is there. Now okay, health check. How your application is working fine properly or not? Health check. See is caps health. How your application is okay, working fine properly or not? Understood. Understood team. Okay, next one. Okay, hope it is clear team. Next one team. What is the next one? Now here see. See this is the way how can you info, be in health, so many okay two points team. Not only one, one into points. We have you know hundreds of the kind of points team. Hundreds of the kind of points. Loggers, loggers is not there. You have any okay, environment? these many environments are there the profiles no not only for okay, your application during your application startup what would be there everything and you have any some conditions are there there everything actuator is usual to everything it would be available team understand team this is called actuator it is called actuator i want set down if you want your okay, endpoint to shut down, okay, what happened, you know, your application by default, it would be a okay, shutdown team. Your application by default, it would be a okay, shutdown team. If you want to okay, enable your okay, application as a okay, 
shut down then what will be happen by default it would be shut down your application okay okay you want to see management dot management dot okay end point dot end point dot shut down enabled is equal to true so what happened okay your application will be started see run as and been installed by mistake if it is again enabled right if any one guy call this again to points i am started my spring boot application spring boot started that's fine now we are good but by mistake any one anyone is calling this again to point see your application will be terminated see see here your application is terminated okay request method is not supported shut down is a post one is a shut down operation actuator actuator shut down Method not allowing. Spring graceful shut down method is post. It is post one. It is not get one. See your send CSRF token all is not required. I am trying to spring shut down, but endpoint enabled also. Included when curl using this, you need to send here either by passing header or parameter something. Your example, it is a post one team. It is not a get one. Shutdown enabled is equal to true. What you will do? Post one you cannot call from the browser. Go to your here. Give this shut down. Go to here, post one. Shut down and buy. If we go your application, buy buy it is. Buy means okay. What happened? Your application will will not work after shut down. See, okay, application is not there. Why I should respond now? If you are trying to give okay any okay info also in get, it won't work. Application is not working. So that's why shutdown is not enabled by default. If you want on your application demand, you can give okay. It's not a problem. These are called actuator. Actuator is production ready based future team. You can see. Means are working. How the threads are working. How the your application health is working. How to metrics would be there. Everything you can see with the help of actuator. Team. By default, all the actuators are okay, enabled except except shutdown. By default, all the actuator exposing is by default disabled. If you want exposed to public, you have to expose. Uh, you know, uh, you using the properties is called. Um, management dot uh, okay two points dot okay web bar jmx exposure dot include either you can give multiple end points comma or you can give star it would be done okay team done now we'll see spring boot database examples team databases integrations spring boot db integrations team any questions please ask team hello yeah hi sir uh, sir uh, now we are just uh, shut down our application correct so yeah. uh, if you want to restart it once then how we, we can do it yeah okay it should work when it will be shut down whenever you forcibly see after restart it will work restart the configuration will not work only configuration is not our matter after configuration you will go your 
postman forcibly you are shut downing again again it will shut down your application sir understood sir yeah yeah okay so in in regular spring based applications spring based application development to connect with the database we need to create the data source object and jdbc template object as below how at the rate configuration i told clearly again i am telling again i am telling 100 times i am telling if if it is frame cannot apply at the rate component if it is framework classes we cannot apply at the rate component for all framework classes we should use for all framework classes we should use at the rate bean or using xml java configuration team what i should do i should do bean driver manager driver manager data source data source driver manager data source is equal to data source is equal to new driver manager data source data source dot set url tv url set driver class name set username set password return return data source team we should give the red bean public jdbc template template is equal to return new you need to pass this data source here data source data source we need to pass this here now we are constructor i am preparing this we are constructor i am preparing this one team hope all are good team now so wherever you required now you you got the jdbc template bin wherever you required in your dao or wherever your class is required in public class dao product dao or whatever it team this dao class should be at the rate component public at the rate auto wired jdbc template jdbc template team here we need to write your business logic you, you need to write your business logic you need to write your business logic team okay you need to write your business logic team so you have to write this much of coding but again if you have any transactions are there again if you have any other beans are there so many hey spring boot will tell developer why you are focusing on this all this i will take care oh you, you will take care but how can i supply this driver url username and password don't worry you just to provide in application dot properties file or yaml file or yml file you just to provide team just to provide spring dot data source dot url is equal to mysql colon localhost colon 06 colon test you should give spring dot data source dot username root spring dot data source dot password root spring dot data source dot okay driver class also you can use team com dot mysql dot driver or something com dot mysql dot driver dot driver com dot mysql dot okay, driver dot driver team understood team if you give these what happened you know your spring boot will take care spring boot will take care create data source and jdbc template object spring boot will take care to create data source and jdbc template objects instead of you will write all the stuff spring boot will take care to create data source and 
JDBC template object to, to create data source and JDBC template object to template object city. Understood team? How it will do, what it will do, now we'll see practical. He, 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 here also will be same. Here it will be using conditional on property. If this property is available in your class path, if this property is your available in the class path, then what happened? It will create the data source object. If the property is not available in the class path, how can it will create it? See, during your application startup, see, to implement this, to implement this, we should add Spring Boot Starter JDBC, JDBC dependency in our form.xml team. JDBC dependency in our form.xml team. See, during application startup, during Spring Boot application startup, if during application startup, during application start up start up if if the okay, okay application start up it will verify it will verify it will verify if this if this if the, it will verify spring data source property is configured in in configured in properties or yaml file if if yes, during application startup, it will verify spring dot data source dot triple X property is configured in application dot properties file. If it is configured, if it is configured, if it is configured, then only data source comma JDBC template objects will be created else you will give errors else it will give errors else it will give else it will give errors else it will give errors understood team very very important team please focus on okay very very important team to implement this, we should add Spring Boot Starter JDBC dependency in pom.xml. You no need to write all this boilerplate code. No need to write all this code. This code is enough, team. How to enough? How to see? I will show you practically. Okay. Let me share already okay, existing team. Already okay, existing okay, okay, examples I would be use here your database team Import existing Maven project. One second, I will restart my Eclipse STSA. Import existing Maven project. File new other import as a Maven project. Maven.
existing maven project okay i will use my okay, eclipse id it's not a problem what is the problem this way it is behaving import Ex existing maven project no okay i want to stop for some time use this as a this one okay meanwhile right i will explain theory team so now what happened by default by default boot boot will support will support only only one data source one data source but by default spring boot will support only one data source object object will be will be provided with auto configuration but as part of our application requirement as part of our application requirement if you want to connect to multiple database okay your application is connecting to db no oracle okay, database one and okay your application is connecting to other database at the time what we required for this one data source object is required for this another data source object is required understood team but your spring boot does not support multiple database you have to write if spring boot by default does not support multiple data sources multiple data source or objects we need to write we need to do manual configuration we need to write manual configuration we need to write manual configuration manual configuration how that manual configuration is there at the rate bean at the rate bean so at the rate bean i would explain to him practically so in data source first your application dot properties file your application dot properties file you have to add two things one is app dot data source dot first url what is the db url here now app dot data source dot first username app dot data source dot first password okay app dot like that if it is if it is a second one you have to give same for a second one also instead of wherever first is there you should go for second wherever first is there we should go for second should go for second so like that you need to configure here here you will use oracle oracle database you, you know connection here oracle database okay driver class oracle database all app dot data source dot first to dot driver class use here oracle oracle driver class use here oracle db url use here username use here what is the password if you are connecting with mysql mysql driver class use here mysql driver class 
use here here db url username and password username and password team understood team now how to write this configuration file how to write this configuration file here okay requirement is how to configure multiple data sources how to configure multiple data sources team okay, next one team now here see you have to write manual here configuration okay instead of here you have already available here configuration public as multiple data source configuration only it is required whenever you are connecting with multiple data db stream only it is whenever you are connecting with multiple db stream good now that took a db stuff is there okay now here see so now okay, how to do it here you have to give at the rate bean at the rate bean at the rate configuration on properties if this configuration on property what property app dot data source dot first if this property is present in your class path data source to data source data source properties t return return new data source properties now so once it is done what happened return new now you got the data source properties object to team now you got the data source properties object now you got the data source properties object hold first db source details this is used to first database i mean oracle db if you use oracle db oracle database data source details are available here how 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 it is available means now you should go for a next one you should go for a next one so here only you have data and source properties you should go for same stuff here you have data source only here but here it is first to data source now what happened here return here you have this object right new first to data source dot initialize initialize data source builder dot type of data source dot class dot build team this will take care to pre to create the data source object team once you got this data source object at the rate bean public jdbc template object return new jdbc template it is first to data source object understood team same second one also you should write team same like okay second one also you should write manually team same okay second also you should write i will show you now practically everything take this first example team spring database connectivity first example team spring database connectivity team if any doubts okay you can ask me now database connectivity team now here sir. i am i am adding in my palm.xml what dependency team i am adding in my palm.xml what dependencies spring boot starter web web is for our okay, apis and jdbc team jdbc team okay hope you are clear okay everyone if you are using the starter gdbc in my application dot properties file let us assume that these are not there how to comment in properties file with the hash team 
let us assume that these are not there you now what happened during your application startup only build path configure build path Now here CT run as then we are installed it is IDE it is there is no option it is called a okay, spring boot application here it will not come okay shortcuts also here if it is okay clips ID now okay, run as run as go to run as okay been installed whenever you start your spring boot application run as java application cct what is there are embedded database driver class for cannot determined cannot determined embedded in database driver class for database type is none if you want embedded database please put supported one in the class path if you are database settings to be in lo loaded from particular profile you need to activate it during our application startup only it, it will throw the error team because see how it happens oh see now it will start your spring boot application go to here run as spring boot application Tomcat port number is 80. It won't give any shortcuts, team. I am trying to give you shortcuts. It won't give any shortcuts. Run as Java application. Run as Java application. Okay, now it's started. See what happened during your application startup. See what happened during your application startup. You have data source, your spring bean factories. You have data source. Hmm. Here is your data source team. Data source. Data source auto configuration. Data source. How the dispatcher server let auto configuration. Similarly. Data source auto configuration. See, at the rate conditional and class data source present in the class path, embedded database is present in the class path, enable configuration properties. 
enable configuration properties data source properties at the rate conditional on missing bean where is your data source object create see here see 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 here please please at the rate conditional on property in your property prefix spring dot data source is present present then only create the data source object it is taking internally tomcat data source jmx if it if this prefix is not there if this prefix is not there then okay it won't create it understood team that is the reason of what is the main priority of at the rate conditional property if this pro that's why during your application startup if this property is not found prefix is not found it gave error at the rate conditional and property is used to if the property is okay existing in your properties file or not if it is available at the data source object otherwise don't create at the data source object otherwise don't create the data source object to t any questions team so now you can see you zero configuration team zero in dao what i am doing user dao select simple query i am using from st underscore user where user id is equal to get the query all the user details will come okay okay invoke that whatever okay, response you got it of the okay, user id i am bringing the username username okay if you give okay user id it will give okay username where you are calling this service dao dot get username give the okay, user id here you are calling this controller path variable you pass the user id it will give username that's it i am using mysql database okay, st underscore user view table data team i am using db db ever team it is a uh, and open source you can connect with almost all the databases using this new database using this you can connect to tool all dbs and this tool will more friendly and you can easily you can work you can connect with um, postgres mysql maria db oracle apache hive most of the okay frequently you do databases we can connect it to team db ever okay now how to connect you choose anyone your db mysql db url username and password you give why next command is working in my laptop you should give username and password team okay that's it okay team now okay, next is good okay now see okay very very important now so here i have a user details good all good okay next one team okay what is next one okay next one is please okay, try to understand team I will run this one application already started your application you will go for your postman in a rest api i would explain to you http localhost 80 what is the year port number 2025 slash 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 user in database what is the username okay, user id 1234 in db now it will give user id if you give you will get username see have you written anywhere in your code all the configurations team you don't care about how the this data source this jdbc template object also it would be created 
everything is magic here your spring boot will take care of everything it will give at the end auto this jdbc template object okay everyone okay are you clear team how to connect with using spring boot means you no need to write any code just in our properties file you should focus on the properties file you, you should focus on how to configure your data source details using auto configuration properties with the help of other conditional annotation data source object and jdbc template object would be created in team uh, this named parameter in jdbc template is we have okay different okay, templates are there we have a okay, different okay, templates are there using this template in our plain jdbc you should go for uh, statement prepared statement callable statement instead of you will write so much of code you will give this spring dao module spring dao module they have given a concept is called spring dao module they have given a concept is called jdbc template team using this jdbc template will take care to connect to your database you are passing your query you are passing your okay required user id params and what is the response query means what is your db sql query params means okay input it is an okay, output team what it will do internally it will be using our sql statement or pl sql statement only query for object internally it will be using prepared statement only using prepared statement is equal to new prepared statement using c prepared statement only using prepared statement it will connect to your database and get the data from the db team instead of developer will write all this code spring has provided predefined templates to avoid the boilerplate code those templates will take care to connect to db and get the response okay got it let's see next is how to connect multiple data sources so in my application dot properties i have two dbs one is here here let's assume that postgres here two schemas i am giving schema one is test schema two is st in your real time let's assume that two databases it is now username same password same how to connect to two data sources means spring boot does not provide spring boot does not provided two data sources team spring boot okay does not provide this two data sources team now to overcome these problems you have to write manual configuration how to write i have explained manual configuration see for th this one data source object for this one data source object at the rate configuration properties if this key is present in the class path create one data source if present in the class path and create another data source create another data source team now if you see it here first data source data source properties app dot data source properties you got this object whenever this statement will be executed it will load all the properties of this first data source here data source first data source dot initialize data source builder dot type of data source type dot build team build team Please try to understand. So, whenever this statement will be executed, first data source object would be created. This statement will be executed same like above one. Second data source object will be created. Simple team. Now, what we are doing? We are creating two JDBC template. At the rate auto wire, you are trying to get to first jdbc template it will read which one first data source one this first data source will load which one first data source properties 
Pedibusic template of second DB. Second DB which load which one? Second data source. Second data source which load which one? Second data source properties file. Understood team? So if any intros are asking, hey, can we connect multiple uh, databases in Spring? Yes, you can connect. Can you write the skeleton? Yes, I can write. Unfortunately, by default, Spring Auto Configure feature does not support to provide multiple data source objects. So we have to write manual config. How to write a manual configuration? Create, you know, these are uh, two configuration properties to data source prop and inject their configuration properties to data source. Data source will be injected to JDBC template team. Understood? Now let's see. So how it is happening team? Now how to connect to this tool data source team. Now in our application, in our application, it is my DAO. DAO. See, at the rate qualifier, I want um, first JDBC template. At the rate qualifier, you want second uh, data source template team. Okay. Now what happened here? If it is first data source test, first dot query means this object will be there. It will connect to the this DB. Get the how many users count. It will go for a second DB team. It will connect to second DB. You have already card details are there in this DB. Uh, in this DB, okay, STDB, it, there is a table, card details, fine. It will give that uh, okay, output team. Simple, see. Only thing is, you have to write more. So, okay, interviews are asking team, how to connect multiple data sources, you know, multiple data bases using okay spring boot team so th then you would okay, explain okay okay you would explain you have to configure okay you have to configure multiple data sources team you have to configure multiple data sources team okay see now done okay, almost we have written team work everything so then you need to know how to do this one okay so that's it team okay now we'll see how to test this one we'll see how to test configuration directly i am calling dao team i don't want to control and all int count dao dot first data source spring application dot run application context 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 dot get bin of this one team multiple data sources dao dot first data source int count DAO dot second data sources into count. That's it. Every use case we are going to cover team. Every use case. Every use case team. It is okay. You are responsible. You have to practice more, more, more during your okay. All these use cases you can keep all these okay, okay, examples in your email. Whenever okay, real time any okay use case is there, quickly you should go there and you should. Okay, try to implement a team. Okay, that's it, team. Okay, team. Now, what is the problem here? Default to port number is 80. It is already available. No problem. Server dot port is equal. To all your server configuration is okay, available, team, here. If it is okay, external, okay, inside of the Tomcat. If it is internal, here only would be available that's it see first db count is equal to three and a second db count is equal to this one team team did you get it how to connecting into single db and multiple data db every db you need a connection connection would be provided by the data source object if you want two db i need two data source object unfortunately spring does not provide two data spring boot to default auto configure is not there you have to configure how to configure can you write the code skeleton code no problem i will write i need to create first two data to jdbc template jdbc template what required data source is required 
data source of what is required properties are required properties are given by here properties are given by here that's it understood that's it okay now next one is okay important team we are trying to use spring data jpa what is the spring data jpa see in our project development in your real time see generally dao layer is used to is used to connecting to is used to communicate with the database generally dao layer is used to communicate with the database dao layer usually contains contains a lot of boilerplate code lot of boilerplate code that should be that should be simplified simplified in order to reduce the see lot of boilerplate code team that should be okay, simplified in order to okay, reduce the number of lines of code code and to make the code reusable make the code reusable team make the code reusable you should go for jpa team jpa what this jpa will do it will try to reduce team okay, it will try to reduce complete the main goal of the main goal of this okay, jpa is spring data jpa not actual jpa the main goal of spring data jpa is to avoid complete code to avoid the complete code in DAO layer that means spring data gives you a common way of working with okay spring data has several modules all one of the module is called spring data jpa using this spring data jpa using this spring data jpa to avoid this complete code in dao layer team okay okay instead of spring data spring data jpa has provided has provided has provided four interfaces has provided four interfaces these interfaces will take care will take care to connect to, to database and get the data to connect to db and perform required operations perform required operations so developer no need to write no need to write single line code in dao layer no need to write single line code in dao layer who will take care everything would be taken care by whom everything would be taken care by whom our spring data and jpa team how there is a class is called repository it is an interface team it is an okay it is an okay interface okay it is a root repository it is an interface this repository you should have what is the input what is the so it is an input and output input and output team this is a root repository this is the root okay repository this repository will okay okay extends so many other repositories team this repository will okay extend so many other repository now what are the repositories root repositories root repository it is also okay, interface team this interface is okay okay extends this interface is okay, extends team this interface would be extends with other interface team next one team paging and sorting repository paging and sorting repository team all are same input and output paging and sorting repository team okay all are interfaces only interface okay, extends another interface it is also okay, extends team okay, extends another interface team now we should give here next one is last one is 
JPA repository stream. So these are all common for SQL and no 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 SQL data bases, but only the JPA repository is specific to our okay SQL DBT. JPA repository okay SQL for our see here we, we have each and every interface each and okay, every okay interface we have some methods team each and every interface we have some methods team what methods are there we have so that will okay, discuss team each and every method we have some interfaces these interfaces will take care these okay, interfaces will take care uh, see these methods will take care team so what are the methods are available if it is card okay if it is card repository methods are save method card means for what for what create insert delete and all find by method find all method delete by method count method and so on team whatever methods are available it is okay extends right all are okay, available here but these methods are available here team these methods are available here not that we'll, we'll show you practically these methods are okay, available here this paging and sorting methods team find all comma find all okay that's it team okay now here okay depends upon the requirement you would have this okay so many will be their team the, but the okay, root interface is root interface is okay repository team okay root interface is okay repository team repository will have some predefined methods how to all this will work now we'll see practically team how all this will work now we'll see okay practically team okay any see now here okay, how it works and all now we'll see practically so you don't need to write any okay any class so now, now here how this one will be there it will be running on based on your pozo based on your pozo class team how you are going to configure your pozo is very very important how you are configuring your pozo is okay important we need to we need to use some annotations 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 we need to apply apply some annotations on 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 okay, entity on pozo class so that it will okay, it will so that jpa jpa can convert convert result set object into java object java object and java object into java object into serialize java object into serialize okay, db object to team okay now java object into database serialize object how it happens team and what are the annotations means first an annotation is called entity Next annotation is called at the rate table. Next annotation is called at the rate ID. Next annotation is called at the rate column. I will explain all how it works. On. Next annotation is called at the rate generated value. So these annotations team, these annotations you would apply automatically at your POSO level team. Now we will see. How it works okay now to implement the spring to implement spring data and jpa we should add we should add spring boot starter jpa dependency in palm.xml you should to to implement spring data and jpa to implement spring data and jpa we should add spring boot starter jpa dependency in perm.xml and next one add data source properties in add data source properties in application.properties file or oml file that's it
that seed team it should work that seed duck it should work let us see we are going to see okay, different of use cases case one how to use predefined case one no code in dao that is use use predefined methods of jpa interfaces case two case two our own methods our own methods case three case three generated generated queries we will see the go to here first one spring data spring boot spring data so this already we know i am connecting into mysql db and all okay what dependencies we are adding spring starter data jpa it is a mandatory spring starter data jpa is the mandatory team hope you are good okay everyone hope you are good okay everyone okay next one team okay, next one if you see here flow may be comes to your controller and flow will go to service service is not there okay directly i am calling to repository have you seen any code is there inside of your repository team have you seen any code is there inside of the repository team please okay, respond team you don't need to write any code if you go for spring data and jpa it will try to avoid the complete code inside of the your dao classes Avoid the complete code of inside of your DAO classes. What it would be happened? Go for this JPA repository. Inside of the repository, you have a find all. You have a find all. So many methods are there. Your JPA repository. See, it will be extends. It will be okay. It will be okay. extends paging and sorting repository. Go for your paging and sorting okay, repository. Is an work interface. A interface can extend multiple interfaces. Go for this. Again, it is okay, extending for what? Card repository. Again, it is extending for what? Basic repository. This repository, no values are there. Card repository. We have a save. We have say, 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 We have find one. We have find all. I have written everything here. Save, find by, find all, count to, delete by all will be available here. You are paging and will be okay, extending of this one. Go for this okay, JPA okay, repository. Your class is extending JPA repository. You don't need to write any code here. Take your controller. But you have to remember, observe this on top of your POSO, you should add entity, you should add table, you should add listener, ID, generated value here, each and every column. This column name, your table name should be same. You, user table, right? See? first underscore name here also you have first underscore name last underscore name here also you have last underscore name created at here also we have created at modified at here also we have modified at this name you can give anything but this annotation name it will during your application you know start up it will take care it will verifying this db properties and this column properties is both are same or not if it is not same during your application startup only it will give error if it is same okay understood internally your jpa will use reflections apis your jpa will use internally reflections api those reflections api will take care the responsibility of internal it will write some implementation classes instead of you will write your jpa will take care to write the dao boilerplate of the code to connecting to the db and get the data whatever you want what as a developer how simple i i will use go to my controller 
my, if my controller you have like anything the code is there if you controller see just okay, repository dot save this data will be saved into database repository dot find all it will get all the data from the db repository dot find one i want only one see that's it you don't need to okay you don't need to write too much of coding okay okay you don't need to write okay too much of coding team understood team sir uh, in api repository uh, sir it is in generic format register t comma id is there yeah sir team uh, instead of here user uh, we can use object class or anything here 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 uh, j user repository dot java file here sir here it is an uh -huh. our any class you can give you can't give object class whatever the class which is okay required to mapping okay. to your database if table is not there hmm. it will create the table again okay sir okay. sir in controller if table class, is not uh, there it will create it again okay okay understood yes sir yes sir in controller class we are using a list of uh, users retrieving functionality sir mm, yeah same in, uh, in... same case like uh, um, we are saving multiple users in the uh, database so in log files i'm uh, in my project i'm seeing uh, multiple times insert query is running sir multiple times insert to query is running yes sir Suppose uh, 10 users is there, 10 insert okay. queries. Yes, it would be happen, right? But in Oracle, we have one future node, sir. Uh, just uh, insert one uh, insert statement one time and remaining values, if you mention 10 times, within short, it will be insert. So, first we need to know what is my business requirement. Okay. Then we should talk. I mean what is the business requirement every user one time inserting or every user multiple time inserting what is the business requirement understood sir so save yeah. will not stop irrespective of the number of times save will not stop at all understood sir yeah. now here see how to use this one going here run as spring boot run as spring boot team okay now all are good what is happening port number same Server dot port number nine zero nine four. Run as Java application. No team. See, if already data is there. How to get it? HTTP colon local first. How to get all users means users. Go to your browser. Local first. Users. What is my port number? Sorry. mapping sorry here slash employee see i got all the employees have you written any code team in your repository just you are using predefined methods 
just you are using predefined methods and you are okay trying to all the details you want only one 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 id so it is given find by id internally what it will take it will write the query like uh, select star from users where your id is equal to 1 2 3 something id means only one here 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 okay internally this method will write code like select star from users or okay, employee all details i want instead of you will write this boilerplate code okay okay instead of you will write this whole code who is writing this code your who will write the code your your you know spring uh, your spring data and jpa will write the code on behalf of the developers team jpa will write the code on behalf of the developers team okay understood team here okay now hey i don't want to write this predefined okay repositories i want my own team i want my derived queries team so you can write it's not a problem see go for this okay repository it is by default will come see now here you have a standard team standard means you should give find by model find by model so at the back end your spring jpa will generate the query like this you can't write a b so x y z you should start with find by only find by model find by model and manufacture see these methods are not there right predefined methods are only see you know okay depends upon the requirements it depends on the requirements we can use you can use predefined methods or our own or our own our own methods or our own methods that means so you can use predefined if our if our if our if our predefined methods if our requirement is straight forward like get the data and okay update the data remove the data like this straight forward then we should go for then we should go if our requirement is straight to forward like get the data update data and remove the data okay remove the data team so please concentrate if our requirement is not okay use use custom methods if if our requirement is our requirement is based on conditional if our requirement is based on conditional team if our requirement is based on conditional like a okay, conditional means for what if our requirement is based on the conditional like like and or okay at this time so then you have to use our own our own methods using using find by triple x methods for example find by id i want find by id and name i want record so this kind of thing will not be they, they write find by id or name understood where all is available team you can write your own see find by username user last find by model containing see what tables are available you have you have device table and you have user table team see device table and we have how to give your joins also how to give your joins also beautiful concept find by model containing order in order by model ascending 
find by model containing order by descending see you are internally i can show you how this internally will generate also find by user last name order by model means you are aggregating you are applying joining user as well as you are applying model class of device it okay, depends upon the requirement we have to write these methods manually team but these method syntaxes should be understandable format these method syntaxes should be understandable format by your jpa you can't write your own abc you cannot write your own xyz team understood team hey sir i don't want to give this i don't know how to give i will i will give abc okay xyz no problem you will give here okay abc xyz but using other rate query we will give proper query no problem using other rate query you will give proper query no problem that's what i told here one is you can use in three ways our own methods so that jpa will generate the queries now third one is using other rate using other rate query annotation that's it team so you now if you don't know how to write this no problem you will write a b c x y z our own name on top of the method what query you want you can give if you know this if developer don't know this i don't know sql and all you have to know how to write as per this language so that your jpa will understand team okay now the next one is see this one it depends upon the requirement you should write all this stuff team okay it depends upon the okay requirement you should write all this stuff let's see i would go here cd directly i am calling from here this we know team what is first one here is the device object we will we'll check one by one team we'll, we'll check one by one first one is team set device model go here so i am using this one i am passing this model number i am using our own style i will give number go for here here is my device table i don't want to use predefined predefined i have already used in our device model what is my model iphone 6 or samsung model i want update i want update iphone 6 to iphone 13 now if it's how to do application update set iphone what is the device id device dot get id id i am giving one here iphone 13 so let's see here i am preparing users or okay devices both objects are there whenever it is okay required we'll use them first i want update set my model device okay instead of using predefined you are using our own update run as java application error been creating with entity manager factory hibernate invocation init failed no being such entity balance okay balance is not required see team device i have given entity table user also have given entity table team 
in okay device repository go for the application run as java application run as java application team that's it if you go your db see internally it will be using what query internally it will be using what query see you are giving set right of inserting users and the device of information are you using anywhere are you using anywhere set yeah you are using your save right save means for what it is inserting it is inserting save means for what you are giving save users you are giving okay device okay users means of okay, inserting inserting device details in db in database okay, okay inserting user details in database inserting user details into how to use user repository dot save of user device repository dot save of your device team after now i want update model number is iphone 13 go here view data my device idd why it is not updating iphone 13 i am giving refresh uh, see iphone 13 see internally save what save means it will be like inserting how this of inserting will come in our application dot properties file i have given i want spring dot jpa dot show sql is equal to true it will it will show the generated sql queries by spring data jpa see here by default it is false see these three queries will be executed see see here three queries will be executed these three queries will be executed. Understood team. Okay, instead of you will write all, these three will be executed team. Hope it is clear team. Okay, next one team. What is the next one here? I will go to here. I will go to here. It's okay. One by one team. I am using now predefined. Here we can use device one, device one. Find by one L means only I will get it. iPhone of okay, information team. Run as. See what is that? See only device one information i got it that's it four queries it is a find one means select a device id only where condition is only one now if you see here where condition is only one okay now this is what how it is happened team understood team now like this all the methods team all the methods find by model where condition find by model and manufacturer now you'll see some big query giants okay we'll see this one team list of okay, devices are device list is 
how this query will be we will generate a team now we'll see last one it is a complex one right how your spring data will understand how your spring data will understand last one thing it is applying compulsory joins here it is applying here joins here let's see select user id created first name as no device is there here only user details device list is it is only one or find by okay only one only only user details team i want the user last name order by this but i want both model and user user name order by where is the device and user where is the device and user find by model name find by model okay so this is what team how the we have seen here okay different okay use cases first use case is how to use predefined uh, uh, spring data jpa provided methods and a second use case team you should use a second use case team you should use your own methods using using find by team third use case is you should use okay, okay third third use case is you should use on top of the method you can use our own style team okay so understood team any questions team here okay next use case is spring data and jpa pagination team see from the back end i will get all the records from the back end i will get all the records but i don't want all the records i won't okay i don't want all the okay records okay depends upon the requirement you can you can customize team i want all the records in sorting i want all the okay records in you know i i don't want all the records per page i want only per page i want only few records i don't want all okay how to enable how to enable your paging and sorting team see first we will see page find all means it will give all the records it will give all the record i don't want all the records i want only few 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 only how to implement it all these okay use cases okay dependencies as only spring data okay jpa only team how to implement here go for your application dot properties 9095 or whatever it go to here run as java application So how to use paging and pageable comma sorting both will see F first use case only in paging team ADP colon local host 2025 slash sorry 9095 slash as you have device devices now you should give page is equal to one i want one page size is equal to only two 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 records i want first two page two records i want see it gave only two records zero one two page one size two content Zeroth index. Okay, team. And next one is 
first index and okay, second index t. Size I want two. Okay, depends upon the requirement, you should use it to t. Okay, instead of it will give all, you should give this. I want these in sorting order team. Paging means you can pass which page you want, how many okay, records you want. Which page you want, how many okay, records you want to team. Okay, next one. I want sorting. Sorting means slash okay, devices slash short. I want to paging and how you want to sort. How you want to apply? I want to apply sort by model name. Model. See, earlier M came first, ascending. Now it is iPhone came first. Okay, first iPhone came next also iphone last okay ignore team means it came in ascending order it came in ascending order but i don't want us okay ascending order i want okay descending order esc descending ASC means ascending order team. It will give default iPhone. Ascending order. iPhone came. Model iPhone 9 came. Another model. Okay, ignore case. Another model. As of now, only two models only we have. Direction ASC. Ascending. Descending. See, DESC descending. See? If it is a descending means it got first to model next to this data will come to you. Understood team. So depends upon the requirement. So you should pass okay, instead of so spring data spring data JPA has 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 provided has provided has provided pageable has provided pageable and sorting has provided pageable and sorting pageable has provided pageable and sort classes to filter the data to filter the data to filter the data which will which will improve which will improve the It will improve the application application performance because of because of okay, okay reduce the network load okay because of reduce the network load because of okay reduce the network load team okay, network use load use load <laughs> team it depends upon the requirement you should apply it is pageable it is apply both pageable and sorting it is only pageable it is pageable and sorting. is it clear or any questions team please ask team this is what about spring data jpa